What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Flagrant 2. Uh, I'm Schulte. I'm here at Akash. We got Alex Media, Mark Gagnon in the building. Um, Yo, let's get to the bottom of it. Uh, First of all, obviously, you see we're swagged out. We got the drip dripping. And uh, we'll get to that later. We're going to have a flagrant fashion show today. You know, came through killing it. Alex fucked up. Didn't even bring an outfit. He had one job to do. Uh, (laughs) So Mark didn't bring shit. I was getting to him. Okay. (laughs) I was getting to him. Okay. I think Mark Loki has like a sleeper thing that he's about to bust off on. I really do. You said you didn't bring anything. He laughed at you like you're a real fucking idiot. Yeah. Least effort. Thing he could bring it's like oh shit he saw your text this morning so let me just grab something right that yeah. could be it yeah or there could be something else that we don't know about Maybe. and i'm not gonna allow i'm not gonna allow him to have the least expectations and over deliver so uh, i don't want everybody nothing, to go bro. say again i brought nothing that's the thing i know what he's trying to do he's trying to make it seem mm, like he, obviously this is the okie doke this rope dope this is the rope dope akash and i went above and beyond mm-hmm. you i'm swagged I mean? the fuck out every yeah akash is actually killing it i don't know what it is but you're absolutely I'm killing, killing it, it. Yeah. <laughs> it's for real yeah. Like, there's a circus that's missing its leader right yeah. now somewhere. <laughs> it. I, yo. Where's Barnum and Bailey, dude? Yeah, son. Yeah. Hey, look at this shit. You got Killing the tails it. Swag. Yeah. Swag. Killing you gotta show it. the tails on this. Killing shit. it. Um, yeah, so we'll get to that flagrant fashion show in a little bit. I know motherfuckers that are listening to the, to the audio right now got no clue what's going on, and you won't later when we talk about it. But let's start the beginning of the episode with a very important question, which is what makes a girl a hoe, right? Because... Rush Limbaugh, if you guys don't know who Rush Limbaugh is, do you know who Rush Limbaugh is? I do, but that's because I'm old. That's right. So for you youngins, Rush yeah. Limbaugh is like, um, I don't know, like Howard Stern without Robin. <laughs> 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 like, Howard Stern, but Robin's not allowed yeah, anywhere Robin's near, the near the studio. He's been trying to get me on his show for a minute, by the way. Really? Oh, yeah, dude. Like, I was getting a new email like every week from like his producers and shit like that. But he's this huge, big, like, uh, conservative uh, talk radio guy, right? Yeah, yeah. And Wild Boy. Yeah. Wild Boy. He hadn't tried to get me on the show at all. And it's probably because you're more <laughs> famous, but also other things. What do you think it is? I don't know. Maybe Your just fucking outfit? Yeah. You think that's terrified him. Son, he would, yo, he sees bombs in his outfit for sure. 100%. For sure. Okay, so um, right now we have a situation where he's, I believe, it could be taken out of context, but I don't know how you would do that, nope. called Kamala Harris a hoe. Yeah. And there's a lot of pushback to this because she's obviously a VP nomination. Mm-hmm. Um and I don't know, famous and I don't know, whatever. But accomplished, et cetera. Accomplished, et cetera. But what constitutes as a hoe? Let's talk. Mm. I and listen, Ooh. listen, Kamala Harris yeah. did fuck Mayor Willie Brown. How old was she? 29. And how old is he? 60. While he was married. Mm. Ooh. Now I'm not calling Kamala Harris a hoe, but would Mrs. Willie Brown refer to Kamala Harris as a hoe in that situation? I got to see Miss Willie Brown first. So how good she looks is dependent on her hoedom? Wow, Al. Wow. You are such a chauvinist. Apparently, Bill Clinton called Willie Brown slick Willie Brown, and if- Bill Clinton is calling you a man <laughs> whore, then you'd definitely be dicking down these hey, bitches. Bill calling you slick. Woo-hoo, slick yeah. Willie? Yeah. That's Slick Willie. That means Kamala got the what? Yo, you know. <laughs> yo. It'd be slicker than Bill's Willie. <laughs> yo, come on now. That's Bill wasn't a- slick enough. That's a problem. I mean, he was mad slick. That's, he- dry, that's dry Willie Bill, bro. Nah, he's skating on them Epstein charges. Son, I guess. Can we, can we blame... Can we blame him? Are, are we going to look at, Al, are we going to look at a black woman, woman and say she deserved to get cheated on? Is that what you're saying <laughs> wow, right now? Wow, Al. Can wow. we just be grateful the mayor of San Francisco is into women? Can we just do that? <laughs> Can we just take a moment and reflect yeah. on that for a second? Yeah, we need more minorities in office. You That's know what I mean? it. He was trying to get them to suck his dick, but it's okay. At least they're in the room. <laughs> at least they're in the office. Hey. Now, apparently, he gave he did the right thing. He mm-hmm. gave his side piece. You know, a a better life. He gave her some opportunities, some jobs. Maybe she deserved them. Mm -hmm. Maybe she earned them. Mm -hmm. So maybe she earned them off her skill and then also was playing with the slick willy. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. But if you're the wife Mm -hmm. or any of the wife's friends, are you referring to her as a hoe back then? We don't got to talk about current Kamala. Maybe it's just short for, maybe hoe was just short for home wrecker, which is kind of definitionally correct. 
this if is, their marriage split up because of this affair. I don't know where you got the record, but I like the home part. You got home. You got now. I know you know how to spell better than I do, but the home, I got you. Home record. Okay, that's a home record. Got you. Okay, okay. So it's a possibility. I'm just saying, is it that far off? Is it that crazy to call her a hoe now? Maybe, but back in the day, you could throw hoe around. Yeah, no, he said it like two days ago, but yeah, 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 I'm with you. He called, the, <laughs> he, he called the ticket Joe and the hoe, which is kind of bars for a white Wait, dude. Wait, the ticket? He, Joe Biden. Oh, and, I thought we were talking about your show. Yeah, 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 okay, okay, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, he yeah, called yeah. The, the Democratic presidential ticket Joe and the hoe. Right. And then he said she slept her way to the top. That's basically a hoe. He like says she's a hoe. Yeah. Now, you can't t- take away from her accomplishments, but here's what I will say. Yeah. Monica Lewinsky, we all understand and we give a pass to her now because, and I'm not going to debate her, but the point is she was like 21, 22. She was with the president of the United States. She was young and impressionable. And this was a very powerful man. And so it's much more on Bill. I can't apply the same shit to a 29-year-old woman sleeping with the fucking mayor. You're 29. I don't know if he was mayor back then. Maybe we could do a little double check, but definitely. He damn sure ain't no president. That's true. So the same rules that we for, we understand Monica Lewinsky forgive her for, we can't give that forgiveness to I'm Kamala. Just say, is it crazy to throw the hoe? Now maybe, Al. Absolutely. So. It's crazy? It's abs- yes, it's crazy. What Back in the day, you, she couldn't be like, yo, I had a hoe phase. I was just smoking Something a back pole in the man. day, but you can't call her a hoe now. That's what I'm saying. So that's why it's crazy. When is, the, sta- when, when is the statute of limitations on a hoe? On a hoe no. Mm. Yo, when does your hoe wear off? That's a great question. Mm. The moment you stop being a hoe. You know what? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm not a hoe because I'm no longer a hoe. So the second you stop being a hoe, you're not a hoe. Now, 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 let's talk about it. Okay. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. <laughs> where, where were you going with that, Mark? Where are you going? No, now I'm just thinking like anytime you stop doing something, does that mean you're not the thing anymore? Exactly. If so the second a- you stop fucking guys, Al, mm. are you no longer gay? <laughs> yeah. Oh. The oh. second you second stop, you stop fucking yep. guys. Like yep. the second you just pull yeah. out. The second your dick is removed from the rectum. Yeah. And you're you no start, longer and you gay. You start fucking vag. Yeah, you're no longer gay. I don't know, dude. Whoa. Sometimes it's you in you. It's who teams. you are. Nah, you, you stop going teams. to church. You stop being Christian. Have you always yes. had this opinion? I just want to know. Have you always had this opinion? Absolutely. <laughs> you really do fuck a lot of white girls. <laughs> you this know. open minded. Okay, what about your girl? So the, your girl cheats on you the second she stops cheating on you, she's no longer a hoe? No, or you no, can carry that hoe no, to the next... because there's now some we're talking minutes. about cheating and fidelity. Now you're adding but layers to this. But after you break up, you won't call her a hoe. You don't have to stay together. She betrayed your trust. I get that. Relationship is fractured. Any girl but cheated on me is a hoe for her life. For her whole life. Al, Al operates on a different level. Her whole life. <laughs> her whole life, she's a hoe. You, you, you believe otherwise? Yeah. She hops off the dick and all of a sudden she's a saint again? I mean, I think a whole there lot are some at least marriage, five to ten There's years. some marriages that get past the cheating. They get past it, but so you then, still look at that hoe like nah, ass you hoe. can't. You can't. You anymore. don't look at this cheating ass hoe like how could she cheating ass hoe? Yeah, but eventually you gotta erase it. You gotta erase the hoe. Eventually the hoe goes. Yo, can I tell y'all something that's mad vulnerable and I should not share at all? <laughs> no. Yo, you ever like fuck a girl so good her legs shake after mm-hmm. sex? Yeah, every time. Yes. So. No. <laughs> but you know what I'm talking about? Like, yeah. you finally, like, orgasm so many times that leg shake. Bro, I fucked my girl the other day, bro. My legs start shaking out the sex. <laughs> so that shit felt mad pathetic, son. Yo, I'm literally laying there covered in my own cum because I just came on my belly and my legs are wobbling <laughs> <laughs> Did you try to get up? Like, why are you Bro, I didn't know what to do. On? I don't know what was happening. I think it was the altitude. <laughs> <laughs> so I was weird. Shit happened when I was having sex up in Aspen. Bro, I started tearing because I was so tired after this fucking Whoa. this. Bro, not Whoa. even after sex. It was during the sex. You know when you're so exhausted, you cry a little. No, no. Nope. Well, I do. <laughs> and nope. She was riding me. What and is happening is right yo. now? So it's the altitude. It's, <laughs> high, bro. Bro. it's, it's, it's eleven thousand square feet or something. What? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, but I literally started tearing. 
and I had to go like this. Nah, during you sex. need to go back over to get your dick back, son. Say what? So, so you need to go back. I over left there it and over break, there. Yeah. Huh? Did you, son, this is wild. Did your girl say some shit to you while your legs were shaking? Like, yeah, I did that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, nah, these, man, are, these, these are separate. Bitch, these are separate. You can't let her see that. You can't let her see that. You know, it's so funny. Y'all know. Y'all know how little I have sex, and y'all assumed it was the same time having sex in both of those things. Yeah. <laughs> that's a traumatic moment bro <laughs> no no it was traumatic but it, it could be traumatic. altitude because when you bake at a higher altitude you have to change the baking recipe exactly what the fuck does that I don't even do see how that crying and shaking no, legs no, that's going on. he just wanted wild. to throw oh, out a little fact no. he knows about altitude <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, I'm bailing him yeah, out with bro, it we get it you <laughs> saw a YouTube video about bacon bro <laughs> <I know>. <laughs> 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 Mr. Share information over here I was just turning on me being gay what's going on you're gay bro you gotta take it you're like you gotta accept it Bad you gay, it, you fucking gay ass hoe. <laughs> <laughs> you know, real talk. A, a hoe, right, back to this Kamala, right? Mirrors. Yeah, I, I back just to this hoe. Whoa, 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 This whole discussion. Now, then, let me finish. Oh, okay. The whole I see discussion what you're of the word hoe. Okay. Golly, guys. I just don't think it's the craziest thing to say because I think there's so many women out here that are defending Kamala and saying that this guy's an asshole for calling her a hoe. Mm -hmm. When they have called far lesser women hoes, right? You call the Kardashians hoes, they fuck four people mm. that they're all in relationships with. Mm. How are they all hoes? Every Kardashian's a hoe. They just fucking the people they're in relationships with. But Kamala fucks a married man. And all of a sudden, oh my God, how could you dare speak about a woman of color like this? Kardashians are women of color. <laughs> they are, bro. <laughs> That's my brown eyed girl. What do they call them? That's my brown skin girls, bro. That's my brown skins. Yo. What? Brown sugar? You talking about the Kardashians? That's my brown, brown sugar, sugar bro. <laughs> 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 no, but for real talk, and all these dudes yeah. out here calling every girl a hoe that walks past them when they holler and they don't listen, and the girl doesn't listen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Every girl's a hoe. But now Rush Limbaugh hoe. says that about Kamala. And all of a sudden they're like, oh my God, how could you ever speak about a woman like that? All I'm trying to say is y'all a bunch of fucking hypocrites. I'm not calling Kamala a hoe, but she fucked my man. Yo. What? <laughs> but if she fucked my man while we was married. Yo, yeah, anybody breaks up my marriage, that's a fucking, I hate that motherfucker for life. I'm calling him every name in the book. Yo, that's true. What if they had the Jada Will situation? Oh, open? Yeah. I don't not think their marriage You think surviving. the mayor is going to have an open relationship in San Francisco AIDS riddled San Francisco is gonna have an <laughs> open relationship, bro. That's a good ass. Come point. on, that is a good ass. That shit point. was riddled, bro. Yeah, but back then, didn't they think that was just a gay drug? Say what? A gay disease? Gay virus? Yeah, yeah. It used to be called GRID, which is like gay something immuno disease or some shit like that. It was there was like gay in it. HIV used to be called grid. I don't know what it's Really? Yeah. Is everybody just trying to top each other's gayness right now, son? Yeah, how you, <laughs> you know, know much about, about gay, gay facts, shit, bro? Yeah. He knows about bacon. You crying wait, during wait, sex. Wait, 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 wait. I've been get... gay, so yeah, don't get true. that shit twisted. Well, he out gayed you just now, son. I mean, he out Y'all yeah, need to get more in touch with your emotions. Y'all yeah. never came out your eyes. <laughs> that's all that is you tear I was coming out my eyes bro that's it dog it's salty it's the same shit get your oh. fucking relationships right real talk God. start making more love yo y'all making lust start making more love that's a good point crying, all right? crying doing the stanky leg in bed and shit <laughs> <laughs> So that's what I started doing to make it look like my legs were shaking. I said, I do candy sweet, goodies, go, see it, see roll. Wild boys. Y'all some wild boys, man. Nah, y'all wild boys. Shit. Bunch of y'all bunch of hoes. Y'all a bunch of hoes too. Nah, man. I got a Once fact you stop check. Being a hoe, you're not a hoe. I got, okay. I got a fact check on some of the Kamala shit. Okay, go. So she dated San Francisco mayor and state assembly speaker Willie Brown for a period of time in ninety four and ninety five. But technically, he was estranged from his wife for over a decade. Oh, come on, son. They broke up. This is according to this that apparently. <laughs> that sounds like some whole shit to me. Get the fuck out of here, son. That sounds like some whole shit to me. Get out of here, son. Like oh, get get out of here. I'm so tired of you fact checking. Yes, no, 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 that's what I'm talking no, no, about. Put no, out some no, fire no. ass content. Yeah, you argue you handsome motherfucker. Yeah, no, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, Why are you calling him handsome for no reason? Fucking glizzy goblin over here. Bacon ass video. You can't just throw me compliments while we on like a roll. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm making fun of each other. Yeah, your jacket looks stupid. Yeah, your dick looks yeah. fat. What? Yeah. <laughs> this is too tight. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but you know it's fire. We did this shit last. That's what we gotta do. We gotta start every episode with no facts in the beginning, right? Remember the last episode? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What was it we were talking about? Kamala again, I think. No, nah, it was was it Kamala? There was something specific. Slave owning roots. Yeah, yeah, Kamala. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was Kamala. <laughs> Yo, it was we, <laughs> we call her fucking her, what was it? Her Jamaican great granddad or some yeah, shit. John Brown or some shit like that. Yeah. I don't know, but then we found out he was actually white. Anyway. Point is, we got to start the show with no facts, all feelings. We go, no facts, all feelings, yeah. and then Mark does a fact check and yeah. ruins all the fun, but actually makes it more fun. Okay, that's the segment. It's called No Facts, No no Facts, All Feelings. No Facts, All Feelings. It's the anti-Ben Shapiro segment. Yeah. <laughs> well, facts don't care about your feelings. Shut up. <laughs> I hate that little thing. Facts don't care about your feelings. That is some smug shit to say. Yeah, facts don't care about anything. They're not a, a sentient being. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what are you talking about? Like... Facts don't have any feelings, but we as human beings do if we're not autistic. So, yes, <laughs> Kamala's not a hoe. Turns out Kamala's not a hoe. This is alleged. I don't know if necessarily. Nah, it's, nah, nah, it's there's fact. dubiousness That's about it. all facts. Yo, Slick Willie was getting it in. Shout out to Slick Willie. Shout out, shout out I mean, to Slick Willie. I'm going to be honest, though. I do feel like a lot of guys will try to fuck other girls and be in like, be, that are married and be like, nah, we are like separated. It's just not official. Ah, so I believe it. I think because ten years is a long time, but they're definitely dudes who try to fuck girls while they're married and be like, "Nah, we're not divorced yet, but like my wife and I don't talk. We don't live together." Blah blah blah. She also was twenty nine dating a sixty year old. That's crazy, dog. Nothing wrong with that. That's goat. Yo, shit. there's nothing wrong with that's that. Nothing goat wrong with that. Shit. Yeah. 30 years? Bro, that's she an old shit. ass bitch at that point. <laughs> 29 years old. Oh Hard boiled God. egg having ass lady. You oh, really think that, you really think she can't date a guy 60? Ooh. Oh wow. There are a bunch of 30 year old bitches crying right now listening to that. No, you didn't have to call them bitches Al. That was a little extra, you know oh, what I mean? Oh, that was that extra. Was a little that extra, was like you just bro. called all man. these. He said one girl old. was a bitch. I didn't call all women bitches. I didn't even call Kamala a bitch. You just did that, you wow. fucking piece of shit. Come on. <laughs> Yo, you know what? You right. I'm so, sorry. Yo, that's Protect foul, women, dog. So I'm sorry, guys. Protect women. I'm sorry. You right about it. old ass women. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but for real, man. Honestly, I'm glad we got to the bottom of that. What was the bottom of it? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So, so is she a hoe or is she not a hoe? So he was still married at the time, but apparently they were estranged, but we don't really know that for sure. Yo, sometimes nah, divorce is tricky, man. I'll give Slick Willie that. Divorce is a very tricky thing, and it's easier just to stay separated, and you obviously going to go hand out the pipe That's to why he's people. Slick Willie, bro. That's why he's Slick Willie. So I understand that. And also, if Kamala is fucking people she works with, and that makes her a hoe. A lot of y'all listening right now are hoes. Mm -hmm. A lot of y'all are mm -hmm. fucking. A lot Did she get of y'all. Job afterward. Apparently, uh, he like placed her in a couple different committees and positions. We gotta stop judging women who do that shit. That's ambitious. You know what I mean? I like an ambitious girl. Yo, that's a good point. Like, what about all these dudes that aren't fucking other dudes to get shit, but they're like just Go being play nice golf, to them? Fucking hang out yeah. all day. Like you just. Emotionally connecting with somebody. You're emotionally you know? blowing this You're guy all the suck time. A dick loser. What, yeah. what the fuck are you doing all this like buddy buddy shit? Fucking, yeah, tapping him on the back. Yeah. Hey, you watched the game last night? Real talk. That's an emotional blowjob. You hoe? Yeah. Bunch of hoe ass dudes out there. Just cause y'all not sucking dicks. That y'all out there just being charming and sweet to motherfuckers. How else are you supposed to get a promotion? You stay after work. She's staying after work. Mm. She probably working harder than you are, motherfucker. She probably working less. Making more and of got a the same shit. <laughs> Think about it. She's optimizing her time, which is what you need a president to do. Oh, mm. factual. Yo. Mm. Now you're talking. Let's do this. That's the type of diplomacy I want. Yo. Put the D in diplomacy, all right, <laughs> Kamala? Let's solve this nuclear war. <laughs> Israel, Palestine, get over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got some missiles to deactivate. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying, why are you judging women, bro? There's a, Al, there's a, Al out here judging nah, women. Don't throw it at me. Al, nah, don't throw Al, it at stop me. Stop judging so. women. Al goes on one boat ride. He got one little nah, yacht ride. Nah, cooks man. together one little video, and all of a sudden he called all women hoes. You're not in the hypnotized so. video, Al. <laughs> it's not Biggie, Biggie, Biggie. Can't you see? Yeah, man. 
I erase that hoe hoism. You know it's impressive. Though. You could erase. You could M I B a hoe. Yeah. Oh shit. That is how you do that. Yeah. How do the you do moment that? They take the dick out. Boom. They not hoes no more. The moment they take the dick out. <laughs> 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. The moment they just take it what out. What girls are just taking their dick they out of you? Just take it out. <laughs> right, right, right. Oh, take your dick out. A dick. Any dick. Yeah. The the, oh, general I you, dick. I they thought you had a specific out. ability to make a girl not a hoe. I thought there was some like christening no, no, thing they, that you had going. They got to do it. They have to do it themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. You know, I didn't calculate with this hat is the back of it hitting the chair. Okay. So glad I shared that <laughs> with you. Thanks for that information. Yeah, anyway, you know what? I thought that was gonna slap. I was like, yo, <laughs> once I give them this information, <laughs> we taking the podcast to another fucking level, bro. With this, the the, the fucking hat, the back of the chair, shit. That's what everybody was thinking at home. <laughs> that's what everybody thinking at home, dog. Right. Real talk. Okay, so we offer this. I think that we've come to some conclusion. Yeah. Yeah, this is a pro women podcast. Absolutely. Yeah. Son, are we not feminists? I honestly, I realize I am a feminist. Yo, we are oh. such feminists. We might be feminazis. Ooh. Yo, <laughs> honestly, we might be. We might be. Explain it to me so I can agree. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is. But isn't that something that like people always say? We on want Twitter? slut shaming. That's for sure. We we're trying to call out the people that are calling out Kamala. Yeah. If you call all these other girls hoes. But you're not going to call out Kamala. Keep the same energy. Mm. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? I do. That's what I'm talking about. Every time a girl fucks a dude that's successful or famous, she a hoe. And if she gets a job out of it, I support sex work. Also, if there were more successful and famous women, we would fuck them. <laughs> that's the only reason why we're not fucking them. <laughs> you don't think somebody would slide some dick up Barbara Corker in? <laughs> yo, let me tell you something. So, what a so, yo, if Barbara Corcoran got a three bedroom for your boy in Dumbo, she oh, could yeah, get some yeah, damn yeah. leg. Yo, yo, my girl gonna be about that shit. You better Come put on. on a condom, get us this condo. Let's go. I'm not <laughs> doing this. I need 2,300 square feet, Barbara Corcoran. <laughs> and I can fill up any square footage you need if you know what I'm saying. Wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yo, 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 you got a garage because I'll park my shit in your garage. Easy money, yo. Easy money. That's all I'm saying, ladies. If you st listen, I know a lot of women out here. No, this is important. A lot of women out here feeling judged because men aren't fucking them to get ahead in life. Mm. The problem is y'all not ahead. <laughs> y'all busy giving head. Y'all not ahead. We need y'all to get ahead. Yeah. Okay. There's three Oprahs. Oprah. Who the other two Oprahs? Judge Judy. Mm. Oh, Judge yeah. Judy or Oprah. Judge Judy or Oprah, that's bro. That's Oprah has. That's an authentic Oprah. That's yeah. authentic. That's Judge Judy. Judge Judy. Oprah? Judge Judy? Used There's to probably be another bitch out there. <laughs> 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 How fucked up is that? The bitch is on Zara. That's a bitch? Well, it was a guy, but she divorced him. I think she gets half of Zara. You know that's how these women make billions. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Amazon's <laughs> wife. What's Jeff Be oh, what's Bezos? What's X Bezos? We're gonna call her <laughs> X Bezos. <laughs> There's Jeff Bezos and X Bezos. Nah, I fucked with Mackenzie Bezos. Why? What's she do? Cause she giving most of her we money don't away, care. and she gets it. <laughs> wait, wait. She does? Yeah, cause she gets. She's giving most of her money to charity. Oh, she you knows got she you. charity. Yeah, so she, she charity. Just gets it. You know what I mean? Like that's how I got my money. <laughs> Jeff ain't giving shit to nobody ever. Yo, that's the funny. You know, people say the buck stops with me. Yeah. <laughs> Not in her case. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Buck she, keeps bucking. Yeah, she pays it forward. Okay, so the, but that is a real thing. If ladies, you get into these power positions, which is what we want. Mm -hmm. You get into these power positions, right? We would love to fuck you and take advantage of that power you already have. Mm. We would love that opportunity. It just so happens that we can't think of any of y'all. Mm. The other thing is that girls aren't going to fuck down. Say what? I don't think girls like... Socially... Well, well, we had a discussion about that. What? Girl, the assumption was all the way back in the day. The assumption was always girls don't fuck down. So the more successful women get, the harder it is for them to Evolutionary. date. Evolutionary. Evolutionary, yes. But here's the thing. Women are fucking up because fucking up provides security. Yes. 
at the end of the day. Like, mm-hmm. let's make like the most biological mm-hmm. argument, yes. right? Fucking up. This guy is going to have enough money to take care of you while you're incapacitated for nine months while you're being pregnant. Yes. And, and then, raise the kid. And, and raising the kid. The kid it's, it is the smart decision. Calling a girl a hoe for that is, is, is fucked up. In my opinion, it's fucked no, up. It's because the biological decision. It is not even smart. It's yeah. what we're programmed to do. And you know what's interesting? is like, you always hear these dudes go like, well, men cheat because it's our biology. And then when women fuck successful people, they're like, whores? Yeah. It's the same <laughs> biology, bro. Same 100%. biology. Yeah. So, here's the thing. We've noticed that once girls get security, mm-hmm. they got the same sexual appetite as us. Mm-hmm. Oh, Once girls, like guaranteed Meg, uh, ex Bezos, yeah. guaranteed ex Bezos, the side dick she getting right now is the guy that works on the grounds of her property. Oh, yeah. Mm. That fine ass dude. Fine Shirtless. ass dude. Yeah, mm-hmm. man. Package is still getting delivered, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, and this one's in his prime. <laughs> All right. So the point is when these women end up getting that security, life security that they don't have to worry about, mm. now their sexual appetite reflects us. They fucking the closest thing around. They fucking the easiest thing to fuck. Mm. Guys, we don't have standards a lot of times because it's like, yo, what is the easiest thing to take down? Mm-hmm. What's the Monica Lewinsky? You're there, I'll fuck. Yeah. He could have whatever girl. But there's a cost if Bill Clinton wants to go and find some Victoria's Secret model and fucker. Yeah. Oh, she's going to talk, yada, yada, yada. It ended up happening anyway, but still. Mm-hmm. And you see this happen. So now we can look at our sexual appetites as a function of security. Men, we have security. Mm. Sometimes men don't have security, and they will fuck for it. Mm. Madonna's 62 got a 25-year-old boyfriend, does she not? Yeah. Guaranteed that dude was not secure. Guaranteed that dude does not come from money. Guaranteed dude did not have a great job. Guaranteed dude is living off of her in some way, shape, or form. Mm-hmm. I'm much more embarrassed by that dude than I am if it's 25-year-old girl, 62-year-old man. Ooh, go on that. Why? Go it's on the that. Same. No, nah, because that, again, I'm looking at it from a, bio, a biological standpoint of like, dog, your whole goal as a man is to become, become a provider so you can be more attractive to other women. If you're fucking for the security that's like, I'm be honest, I find it like a biologically not masculine. That's some pussy shit. Yeah, it's evolutionarily you're not tapping masculine. out. You're tapping out the game. Like, you're yeah. supposed to provide for yourself. You know, you're the provider. It's what you were born to do is provide. In an evolutionary sense, that's what men do. You provide so you can get, you know, the best woman or whatever and pass on the strongest genes, and you're just tapping out of that. He might be playing a long game. Get with an old bitch. She dies. You inherit her I wealth. I think that's pussy. Now, he's... I think that's... I judge that much position. more than I judge the girl, Anna Nicole Smith. I feel you. Mm. But I, I think... Dudes are playing. The girls game again. It's shit. the same thing. Keep that same energy. That's biological. I get why a woman does that. That's every species is get the most attractive mate and not just attractive physically. Like who can provide the best life for me mm-hmm. and my offspring? Security. Yes. It's security, bro. So I get biologically Anna Nicole Smith. Partic- if they didn't have kids, maybe not as much. But if they had kids, I get it on an evolutionary level. Mm-hmm. I understand. That's what we're driven to do. A guy's not driven to do that in most any species. Yo, you know what? Maybe rich dudes find security in gold diggers because they know that the girl is attracted to gold. Hmm. So all they have to do is to continue making gold. Keep giving them some shit to dig up. Exi- give them the shit to dig. And as long as they can still dig, they will be there. They will be loyal. They will be secure. Right? Yeah. Whereas a dude that is only good at making gold and not really good at like building emotional connections with people yeah. might be insecure about a relationship with a woman who actually wants an emotional connection with them because they might not feel like they're interesting enough to be loved for just Ooh, themselves. Interesting. Mm. So it's easier to have that relationship. Okay, I make the gold. This bitch loves the gold. She's not going to leave me. She's going to take care of my kids. I feel secure. Also evolutionarily, I get a guy getting a girl like that because that's what we covet. We covet the girl. Like attractiveness pretty much across every country from... This is 20 years ago when I was in college and I read yeah. this study, but like, it's who gives me the best kids? What's like the mo- the wide hips, the hourglass figure? Mm-hmm. The big breasts <clears throat> help nourish kids. The wide yeah. hips make childbirth easier. That's what we're attracted to. Like, mm-hmm. th- she's the gold digging wife. That's what I'm evolutionarily drawn to. Yo, y'all suck titties? <laughs> <laughs> do y'all do that? <laughs> yeah, what? Yo, do y'all suck it? <laughs> do y'all suck? Do you suck it? Uh, not suck, but lick. You don't suck to this? Nah, I don't suck. Do you suck it? Sound like a pacifier. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Yo, sucking titties is this shit, Hunt. bro. <laughs> Yo, that's this shit, <laughs> though. Maybe he's hungry out this motherfucker. <laughs>
<laughs> Yo, for real though, we gotta talk about sucking titties, bro. You not out there sucking out? Yeah, why do you not do that, son? Y'all weird. Also, Yo, why, hold what? on. Y'all, Y'all never suck a titty and you get one of your girl's little titty hairs in your mouth <laughs> and you be sucking extra hard anyway? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, Y'all never do that and floss while this you suck a titty? Too, like, too descriptive. So. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all never floss on your girl titty hair? You know every once in a while if you grow a little titty hair, just mine. <laughs> 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 Also, why did do we, do we ever figure out why Al's dick only goes straight like that? <laughs> yeah, because I got a normal dick. Nah, you got that not I heard dick, bro. Dick. Yeah. Yo, Yo, I, heard, you I heard from many women that I have a normal dick. Yeah, can we assess that? Because some people hit Al up apparently. Yeah. Al, you don't have a normal dick. Your they, dick. They no. said I got a heavy. No, you don't. They said I got a heavy. That's what. I, that's you got what a heavy. So you're saying the blood weighs so much that it hangs it down. Can't, it can't go. Point it up. can't go all the way up. That's that's what they said. That's what they were saying. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, I think Come, you're, no, no, I know no, you working. No, I know you working. No, 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 no. I think your dick is weak. Yeah, because it can't hold dick. it. It can't hold itself up. You no, have such a small. But when dick. I'm on my back, I'm straight up. Y'all just like on some weak. Laying on your belly button, shit like that's no, weird. You, it's not straight. Maybe, got, maybe, got his, maybe his sperm is weighing it down because that's why he be getting all these girls pregnant. Yo, that's true. It could be sperm density. Yeah, but I will say this specifically <laughs> about your dick. I will say this about your dick specifically. Okay, your dick, if it doesn't go up, could mean it's so thin. That it doesn't, it's such a thin dick. Like that, uncooked pasta? Yes, that any amount of, of blood in the tiny little thin dick that you have, the little baby dick, <laughs> is going to is gonna pull, is gonna pull the little baby dick down, no, right? That's, that's scientifically so, valid. So for real, that is something that you should be concerned about in your dick size. Noodle dick, that's the noodle I do dick. stay away from boiling water. You do. I do. <laughs> 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 he's, he's not just afraid of swimming, guys. Yeah. It's all water. <laughs> yeah. Yo, what if that's why black people didn't swim? They're like, no, nah, my dick's not getting hard anymore, bro. I see what it does to pasta. I'm not fucking around with that water, bro. <laughs> you girls want to put Al's dick on your face, see if it sticks. You know what I mean? Yeah. Holler at him. Oh, Damn, Holler I'm guys, bro. Shit. He put what on happened? his Indian outfit, he turned right into the rapey. <laughs> 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 Bro, what's your currency again? Rupees. Rupee. Oh my Whoa. god, is that how they say it? Yeah. How do you guys say rape in uh in India? Consent. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit. Alright, ready? Fun time. <laughs> yo, this motherfucker's crazy. Oh, wow, yo, you man. crazy. <laughs> you crazy out here, bro. Oh, boy. Yo, you crazy out here, bro. <laughs> yo, did did uh did Trump say that um Kamala's not from America? Yo, yeah, he, he didn't that say too. that, but like he like agreed. He didn't see <laughs> didn't say it was wrong. What he, what did he say? He floated he a tried. Kamala birther thing. Really? Yeah. Or Kamala. Yeah. Oh, Does he man. just not think any black people are from America? No. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, that is the funniest shit to say about anybody. Like, you're not even from here, bro. Like, because they are, but there's really, after that, you can't really They're say They're kind of not. They're America's greatest import. What is? All right, guys, we're going to take a break real quick. Stand-up comedy is back. Your boy is going to be at Good Nights Comedy Club in Raleigh, North Carolina. We got shows Thursday through Saturday. Thursday at 8 p.m., I believe. Friday and Saturday at 7, 15, and 9, 30. You can get tickets on my website, akashsing.com. Or uh, just look up Good Nights Comedy on Google, and you can buy the tickets there. Boom. And I believe Andrew got a show, too. Yeah, yeah. We're going to be at the Stress Factory in Jersey this weekend, and uh, the shows are sold out. We're not adding any more shows. Thank you guys so much. That being said, if you had gotten tickets before Corona and you do not plan on coming for whatever reason, let the club know. Because then that can, you know, create an opportunity for someone else who's trying to get the tickets again because we're not adding any more shows. Uh, thank you all so much, man. And you know what? Let's pay, Let's some, pay bills. some bills. I think it's time to pay some bills. Listen, guys, stop getting hangovers. I'm tired of people complaining about hangovers. You see it. It's a trope in every single movie, television show. You don't need to be hungover anymore. Okay? You do not need to. What you can do is you can do that DHM detox. Now, what is DHM detox? First of all, uh, it's risk-free, meaning if you don't like it, 
They'll just give you your money back. I know that's insane. But basically what it is, it's vitamin that breaks down the toxins in your body that cause you to get hungover. Everybody's like, oh, it's just water. You got to drink water and then you're not going to be hungover. No, wrong. Okay, there are also toxins built up because of that alcohol. And what DHM does is attacks those toxins, breaks them down so you are not hungover. They give it, you take them out, little package, pop a couple after your first drink. You can take a few more throughout the night. I'm telling you, you wake up in the morning, beautiful, peaceful, lovely absolutely amazing. This is what you're going to do. You're going to try it risk-free, okay? If you don't like them, they're going to give you your money back, but you will, so you won't. And um, you're just going to go to nodayswasted.co slash flagrant, and you're going to get 20% off if you use the promo code flagrant. That's right, 20% off, and if you don't like it, you get your money back? Man, stop getting hungover. Let's get back to the show. They're America's greatest import. What is? Come Black people. <laughs> Wait a minute now. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Hold on Come one second. On, no, no, no. Let's make the argument. Are black people America's greatest import? Is Think there a it. better import mm. from anywhere than in black ter- people? Let, let's think about it. In terms of cultural significance, mm. is there any more potent and powerful culture than black American culture in terms of like it's spread around the world right now? And who benefits from that? I'm mad that you try to make this a positive. It is yo, right. but think about who benefits from that. It's a positive, yo. America about benefits from that. <laughs> America benefit when when you see little Japanese kids dressing like black kids from New York or LA. You think they're doing break dance and doing all this shit? That's America that benefits from that. That's colonialism in yeah. a weird way. It's cultural colonialism. But y'all doing the Acom thing and just saying like, oh yeah, but just ignore the whole slavery part. Nobody's and get over trying it. to ignore it. No, 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 no. no I'm no, saying no. America. <laughs> like, no, no, no. I'm saying America was very lucky to get black people. What? Listen, slavery get, horrible. Took- <laughs> slavery horrible. But you have to admit that. It undeniably, I think this is the argument that so many black people make, is like, yo, we built this ship for free, mm-hmm. okay. right? Like, so if we're talking about who benefited the most, America benefited way more, like, from slave labor than any other import. Okay. Think about the, ma- think about, like, the insane, the amazing amount of money and wealth that was built off of free labor. That's all I'm saying. Oh, okay. And, like, leveraged <laughs> globally. You still, took it negatively. I no, didn't but it's still it not something I'm happy about. Like I'm not, I'm not gonna brag. Like, oh yeah, we're America's greatest import. I was just making a, an observation. <laughs> I would never tell you how to feel about you. Honestly, situation. I was just trying to defend something that sounded crazy. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I did a pretty good job of it, though. Sean, I did. That's how I meant it. <laughs> the wild thing is that. I got be throwing up alley really? and I be catching them like Zion. I'm like, let's <laughs> go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how I meant it. But for real though, that is an interesting argument. Can you think of one other import? Wine, <laughs> Mark, get the <laughs> fuck out Hold of here, son. Yo, this Hold is a crazier old than mine. Now. Now. Sure. Hold That's on now. Wild. This Hold is a bounce pass. Hold on, <laughs> Mark might have something no, here. No, Mark don't got wine shit. Wine is a better than uh, import than black people. First of all, who wines <laughs> more? <laughs> 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 I ain't seen no Chardonnays like White Lives Matter. <laughs> white wines matter. White wines matter. Uh, yeah. No, but <laughs> unlike you, wine has good legs. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> nah, but black people got great legs, bro. Black people generally, got, but not, generally speaking, know. not Al. Yeah. Al got Al got the Puerto Rican <laughs> side. Yeah. Al got Puerto Rican legs. Yeah. Al's legs is built for merengue. <laughs> <laughs> I, my hips don't lie. Uh, okay, but no, let's think about that. No, Why? it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's interesting. Nah, let's not. <laughs> okay, America's greatest export. Go. I already know it. <laughs> I already know Democracy. it. Democracy. <laughs> huh? Democracy. Some might say it was imported, but I'll, I'll let you rock on that. You could argue f- that's a French import. You could argue. Ain't nothing a French import. Even honestly, the fries honestly, is us. Honestly. <laughs> Same with wine, bro. Well, well, well. I, I think I would have to say America's greatest export. Sugar. Mm. There is no dessert without America. Mm. America changed the world. Sugar changed the world. Did we, didn't we just conquer Hawaii so we could have the sugar that they were already had? That was one thing that we did. <laughs> but that's part of America. So and I think sugarcane existed before and was used before. Only in the Americas. Did not exist in Europe or any of that kind of shit. Sugar 
Mark, can you fact check this? I feel like India this? has sugar cane. Don't. India ain't have no fucking sugar. Look at any place. We were doing this India the other day. Mark and I cane. were sitting here. We're, the, we're out there and we were starting to go through desserts because we got, what was the dessert? Uh, mango sticky. sticky. Yeah. Mango sticky rice. And then we're like, oh, it's just mango and rice and then sugar all over it. <laughs> and we're like, oh, wait a minute. Sugar is from where, Mark? Uh, the sugar plantations. The sugar <laughs> plantations. Okay, I'm gonna need a little bit more feelings momentum no going into this. Hey, shit, hey, okay? Feelings no facts for a second. Feelings yeah, no facts. Feelings no facts. Feelings no facts. Type facts. No, man, feelings Mark, no facts Mark, you Mark. look up the facts. In the meantime, Andrew, okay. you got the feelings. So, I'm trying so to find out. America has sugar cane, uh -huh. right? Okay, yes. I think India did too. No, India didn't have sugar cane. You did. No, you didn't. You didn't have sugar cane. <laughs> Let me know when y'all want facts. All right. What? When you're ready for facts, we can go over it. First we have all, to go to the black guy for facts. Come on. Whoa! Come on. Come on. Whoa! Whoa. Come on. Whoa. Come on. Oh, gosh. That was racial. This guy I don't know if it was racist, <laughs> but it was, it was racial. It was racial. This guy sure. comes in dressed like the mask, and all of a sudden, he's a fucking racist. <laughs> son, son, it's a wild outfit. That is. is wild. It is it even fire. Hindu? It's Indian. Huh? It's Indian. But that's just straight up Indian? Maybe some fusion shit. Well, I, I made the point that you've got to be grateful to the British a little bit for giving him buttons. But we're assuming you guys did buttons. This is, again, feelings, no facts. Absolutely, we did buttons. Because yeah. y'all just be wrapping yourselves that's up. That's my point. That's what I was saying. Yeah, like, valid. Before yeah, British, you're some white ass motherfuckers. You guys were mummies, the bro. Did y'all so. never seen the way that they dress, that's bro? A valid you guys point. were mummies before the that's British this. gave you guys rap, fucking. Rap, rap. And then yeah. you try that's to do valid. some cute shit where you show off your midriff, even though y'all got the worst midriffs on the planet. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yo, nah, you gonna take that, son? son. No, that's fact. I don't even son. know what a mid drift got is, the worst, but you gonna take that, yo, son? son. Y'all got the worst mid drifts. Because y'all either too fat or you're so skinny that you got the extended bellies. What about the top drifts? We got good ass top drifts, yo. Y'all got heavy tits? <laughs> <laughs> yo, yes, for real, y'all got, got heavy great tits? Great top drifts. Indians got heavy tits? Oh, yeah. Great top drifts. <laughs> I don't look at Indian girls like that. Out of great, respect for you. Appreciate that. <laughs> but like, do great Indians got drift. heavy tits? <laughs> great top <laughs> drift. <laughs> no, for real. <laughs> Al, is it true? Indians got heavy tits? Some of them have some heavies. I bet you they got lots of hair on the nipples, bro. <laughs> Guaranteed, hey. son. Hey. If you want to talk about hair, How you nipples. think I got these great teeth? Because <laughs> <laughs> they never got nothing stuck in his teeth. You don't even brush. You just put some crest on your nipple hair. <laughs> Is that <laughs> no, this happened from breastfeeding. I just got great teeth from the womb. <laughs> <laughs> no, but for real. Buttons, English invention. You made up English. You're guessing. I know for a fact. Sugar, Indian invention. Suck. I, can I tell you? No, stop. See? See? Yeah. I was Hold about on. to give that to Hold you, on and on then you second. just wanted to Let me, come with have the you black seen racist shit. Goldfinger, the Bond movie with the character Odd Job in it that has no, the top hat. Anybody app. watching this dumbass movie? Yeah. What are you well, about? I wanted to throw this hat at you so hard when you just said that Indian that Indians invented sugar. They did. They did not invent sugar. <laughs> Bro, how do you think we got them sloppy ass midriffs? The, Say again? The, how do you think we got them sloppy ass <laughs> midriffs? Yeah, with no. the fucking hair on it. Hey, <laughs> You did not invent sugar. The first chemically refined sugar appeared on the scene in India in about 2,500 years ago. Okay. That's what I said. Trust the black guy. Nope. Nope. Yep. Nope, nope, yeah. Nope, there nope, we go. Nope. There we go. The first sugar. Some brown and black appeared. connect, baby. Hey. How, how many hey, years ago right did now. you say? I'm sorry for hurting your feelings. Hey. How many years ago? 2,500. You ain't, you ain't touching that shit. Exactly. That's you before God exists, bro. Let's you go. can't have no not sugar God. before God. Let's go. Not our God. That's but your God, God doesn't count because it's not God. Nah, that's God, yo. That's Come God. on, bro. Mark, that's who's God. God? That's the God. <laughs> Mark, Son. which one is God? I, Give I, us a fact. Let me look it up. <laughs> you useless <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Jesus. How do you think they get brown? Say what? How do you think they get brown? I missed it. But I'm it's a, a sugar I, joke. Oh, it's a sugar oh, I got you. I got you. I got you. I got Yo, you. that is some white shit to do. Like yeah. white people took sugar that is brown, and they were like, "Ew, <laughs> <laughs> Ew that's a little dangerous." Yeah, right. a little, why is that sugar so loud? <laughs> Turn down the music of Don't that want sugar. Want that inside of me, <laughs> son? We literally did that to chocolate and sugar. Yeah, we made white chocolate. We made for white no chocolate reason. for no fucking reason, that terrible. and we made trash. white sugar for no fucking reason. Trash. But Both keep are trash. it real. Keep it one hundred. Same with bread too. 
We made white bread. Yo, and what color is weed? And all <laughs> three white. of those Not things, white. once you make it white, it takes all the nutrients out. It's, it's all the flavor trash, out. Like, just like white people. Takes all the soul <laughs> like, out of it. Amber yo, feels this of shit green, is making bro. sense. That shit is amber. This shit is and making sense. we made it white sense. for no reason. <laughs> Y'all are racist, bro. <laughs> this shit is making Y'all sense. are really racist. So, yeah, no, Nick am. Cannon was on to something. <laughs> <laughs> None of you guys Wild are even... <laughs> Wild 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 <laughs> Wait a minute. Why did we turn everything white, Mark? I think aesthetics. I think we wanted it all to match. Aesthetics. I knew that shit was aesthetics. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, my God, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We did it to sugar. Mm-hmm. We did it to bread. Mm-hmm. We did it to, what was the other Isn't one? Isn't it funny that aesthetics for y'all Chocolate. involves taking away all ass? Isn't that true? <laughs> what else did we do it to? What else did we do it to, guys? What else did we turn white? Marble. White. Uh, rice. <laughs> Rice. We turned fucking rice white. Yep. Did we? Yeah. Oh, rice no. is brown. Mark, facts do not care about your feelings right now, dude. And we're going off of feelings. Okay. Okay. Feelings don't care about your facts. That's what I mean. Neither of them. Yeah. We have rice that got turned white. Mm. What else got turned white? Huh? Huh? Bread. Sugar. Asians. <laughs> we turn them white. Yeah. Geishas. Geishas. Mm. Oh, right? Shit, you're right about that. Mm. Yep. Yo, y'all used to get as white as possible with makeup. You would fucking white it up, put the little high pink blush yeah. on, white hair. White, white hair. hair. White wigs. Turn hair white. Bruh. That's how much we love white shit. We got fake hair and chose for it to be white. That's mm. crazy. Usually people would choose like a luscious brown or blonde, if you will. Luscious or Indian brown. most of the time. Most of the time Indian. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Brown hair. Probably straight off of a girl's nipple. <laughs> you think that's what they make wigs out of? You think they just shaved out girls' titties and then make a nice It's a nipple. lucrative business. It's a lucrative business. Because I ain't seen one bald that's Indian our... bitch. Real talk, Akash. I ain't seen a single bald Indian bitch in India, but apparently all that hair is coming from India. I think it's coming from titty hair. You know how soul food is the worst parts of the animal and then you make oh magic my out of God. it? Oh, my God. Titty hair makes weaves. Mm. Worst part of the titty. Now we turn it into a business. And that's why black women were like, don't touch my hair because that's sexual assault. (laughs) 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 Oh my God. Yo, yo, I think we're on to something. Real talk. That's why you got to start with something crazy. Kamala being a hypothetical (laughs) hoe is going to get us to black girls' weaves are made by Indian titty hair. Hey, man. I can't deny the facts. You know what I mean? You can't deny it. They don't care about my feelings. Done. Mark, is there anything that you're looking up right now? No, nah, I'm trying to figure out where sugar comes from. Sugar comes from some Trinidad and Tobago. Mark is dropping a ball. So. Trinidad comes from what? <laughs> sugar comes from Trinidad and Tobago's and also the other Caribbean islands. Yes. That is a fact. Of yes. Maybe now it does. We got our own sugar. No, you didn't. You've never had sugar. Turn. They had sugar before <laughs> God. They never had sugar. They never so had, we sugar. had sugar before you had Jesus. Y'all slow, yo. Y'all mad slow. <laughs> That's another thing we turned white. <laughs> yo, we missed that one. <laughs> yo, son, we be turning shit white, yeah. bro. Bro, oh, if you want to grow up in the suburbs, oh, shit. What, what color are the picket fences? White, white picket fences in your oh ideal white God. world. Mm. Oh, my goodness mm-hmm. Christ. Mm hmm. This is unbelievable. White people have turned everything white to normalize whiteness, mm. mm-hmm. to make that the status quo. Mm. Mm-hmm. What a G- Why didn't any of y'all think of that? Yeah. What color are these floors? <laughs> white. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, word, why word. did none of y'all think of that? That's you a good, good point. You got we always it. talk about colonization. We always talk about colonization. <laughs> yeah. But why the fuck did y'all come up with these ideas? Yeah, why did you guys colonize and enslave a whole race? Why didn't you do that? Why, wait, what, Mark? What? You didn't have to go that deep with it. <laughs> yeah, why didn't you? I really, I mean, let me tell you something, man. Indians tried. We just didn't get the boat. You know what I mean? That's what we fucked up. We wait. didn't take it international. We did that shit to our own. You did it to your own? Yeah, man. Because you up. had enough people. Oh, you think that's what it was? <laughs> you already had enough, right? <laughs> right or no? Is it, am I wrong? I don't know. Which one is it? I don't know. <laughs> did no, I say something I really wrong? Gonna, <laughs> no, 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 I thought she was reacting in a way I was like, oh, that's like something no, no, super no, racist. No, it's just, it's just a funny. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> this is a funny rationale. No, but yo, white people, we always knock for traveling, Al. I think that's what they're doing. They're scouting, son. Oh, my goodness. Yo, yeah, white people, I just love to travel. You scouting ass bitch. Oh. You scouting ass, barefoot ass bitch. Mm. You scouting ass, barefoot ass bitch. Whenever you go on like a mission trip to Africa or something. Yeah, I know the mission. Oh, yeah. oh my God. I know the mission trip, dude. Yo, so are you saying that Mormons are not actually these kind of like devout Christians. They are the first line for the new colonization. What color are their shirts? Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh, my goodness. I'm about to blow your mind. The natural color of cotton oh, ranges from tan to green to brown. What Get the, the fuck, fuck is going on, here? dude? Son. What? Come on, son. Come on, oh. son. Oh, the natural color Bruh. of cotton. What website did you get that from? Mm. Thanks for taking us to America. <laughs> 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 dot org. Dot <laughs> org. <It's an> organization. <laughs> no, dude, that's crazy. White people just make anything white that they do. So, what color are churches? Mm. Jesus white. What color are churches? Are they white? Mm. Usually white. Sometimes, yeah, they can. Uh, yeah, shit. sometimes they're wood. <laughs> this guy gets in the studio. <laughs> Paints this whole shit, even Yo. the floors white. Yo. But I wasn't the one who decided that. Who a decided? white man did. A half white man, a half Asian man. Both white. That's an interesting thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How you think his how you think he got half white and half Asian? Tell me. Probably his dad was like, yo, let's make some shit whiter. Mm. Oh my well, his dad was the Asian one. Oh. Unexpected twist. <laughs> yeah. That's that fact. Like that's that. fact. That's like a that. boss ass <laughs> Asian <laughs> like like Back in the day, yo, shout out to Mr. Uyeda, son. Yo, superhero, yo. Yo, back in the day, tearing up white puss yo. <laughs> right after World War II. Son, yo. Bobby had his own Pearl Harbor. You know Real I mean? talk. That is fucking fantastic, dude. The levels of game that you need post Pearl Harbor Bruh. to tear up. White puss? Bro. Uh, no. As a, a Japanese, Japanese man? A Japan God, I'm waiting yeah. for the day y'all fucking... Get it out, out. Get it out, out. Get it out, out. What the fuck? Oh, Al, you got this. Holy shit. Al, you got Holy this, Al. Shit, you got Al. this, yo. I'm just waiting Jesus. for the day you guys... Where's your fast big twitch up. muscle fibers right there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. God. Uh, no. All right. So, do not edit that. Yeah. We're not editing that. Someone's no. legs are shaking. No. 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 Someone's legs are shaking. His vocal cords are shaking. Right now. What the fuck happened no, right because there? Because I wasn't sure if I wanted to get this out. Just get it out, son. I said, I can't wait for the day you guys big up a black guy for fucking a white girl the way you just bigged up an Asian guy for fucking a white girl. Now, because it's easy for y'all. That shit is fishing with dynamite. Yeah. What? For, a, for an Asian? Bruh. Fishing white girls want to fuck How black dudes. Easy? Yo, if a if an Asian dude fucked a black girl, how would you feel about it? You'd be like, ah, oh, shit, respect. yeah, respect, right? Respect. He see, he's the underdog. He's the under. Whoa, whoa, that's a good ass fucking point. Wait, underdog is a dish. How is the Asian the underdog here? The Asian male is an underdog. How? Son. Have you ever seen Asian men just out there pimping, slanging dick to every race? That's a good, he's making a good point. Matter of fact, I remember, I think OK Cupid released like stats on who was the most desirable race and by least gender desirable. and least desirable. Yeah. Least desirable men were Asian Indian? men. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. We not on OK Cupid. I mean, they are. Right. We, we, <laughs> we not on OK Cupid. Our parents find our wives. So don't worry about it. That's probably because we're undesirable, but who cares? That's not the point. The point is we're not on the sites because we don't have to be. <laughs> Yo, they did yeah. say that though. It was Asian dudes and black women. Asian dudes and black women. I didn't want to say the back half after I already called out black, <laughs> but that's what, that was the second you, half though. of that. Appreciate you, know what you, mean? you Why bad. would they put that info out there? That seems there was. I don't think they did. I don't think that was part of. No, their... I think they did. I think OK Cupid put out like this as information. Like this is the most desirable is Asian Asian women or white women. Come Something on, bro, you women. know already. Definitely, definitely <laughs> Spanish. Al, 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 we're not going to go back into this, Al, we're not going to go back into this. Al really been colonizing his brain, son. Yeah. Al's brain has been colonized, bro. They, she got you, dog. Yeah, she you got you twist around her finger, dog. Mm. So, yeah, I wanted to talk about Michelle, right? Yo. Wow. <laughs> wow. I mean, wow. we just talk about black wow. women. Wow. You know what they I'll call your brain? about beautiful, black, smart women. Gray matter. Gray matter. Wait, Almost what? Almost white. Almost white. I I'm trying. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm 
Oh, yeah. was like, I, I was even rude you for know you what? You know why it can't be black matter? Because they don't want black to matter. That's why. Ooh. That's why. Okay. Hey, that hey. was a little better alley yeah. yeah. so I'll take the bail. Mark alley oop it like it was a bowling ball. <laughs> 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 Roll that shit down to spin. Yeah, I'll take that. All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second so we can save you some money. That's right. Let's save you some money. Everybody need money saved, especially right now during these corona times. Um, listen, if you have home insurance, okay, I'm trying to save you 1100 bucks. actually 1100 and change, a little bit more. Simple as that. All you got to do, uh, do is go to Policy Genius. PolicyGenius.com, okay? They're going to save you on home and auto insurance an average of $1,127 a year by shopping top-rate insurance in one place, okay? Basically, what they do is they just aggregate all the different types of insurance that you could have, okay? All the different providers, everything in one place, and they're going to get you the cheapest option, and that's how much they save you on average. Go get that free savings, those free money, okay? PolicyGenius.com. You answer a few quick questions about yourself and your property. After that, Policy Genius does all the work. They're going to compare your existing policy against all others in the market to make sure you're getting the right coverage at the best possible price. If Policy Genius finds a better rate than what you're currently paying, they'll get you switched for free. You don't have to do anything, okay? That kind of service earned Policy Genius a five star rating across over 1,600 reviews on Trustpilot and Google. So, this is what you're going to do. If you're a homeowner, head to policygenius.com right now and get started. Telling you, they're saving on average $1,127 a year. Wouldn't you get that free savings? Hello? All right? Everybody can use it right now. You guys got to do it. This is what I want you to do. Go to Policy Genius immediately and get busy. All right? Let's get back to the show. <laughs> Yo, son. Michelle Obama, bro. Mm-hmm. Did you see the speech, dog? The queen. I did not watch the Democratic National Convention at all. Son, I tried to watch it. I watched it a little bit. And then this girl, Klobuchar, was talking. <laughs> this is the worst, yo. She is so bad, bro. Son, that bitch so is like bad. one of the little space jams. You know, before they become the Monstars. <laughs> she looked like one of them. <laughs> That's so specific. <laughs> you know, this that frumpy ass one? <laughs> they be like this with a little yeah, bow tie. Dog. dog, they're all so phony. It's really amazing what Trump did to politics. I will give him this. He, We always knew politicians spoke to us in a phony way. Yeah. And I'll give a lot of credit to uh, Barack. And he had political swagger, meaning like he spoke in the same kind of like political tone. Incredibly polished. Polished, but, but he did seem authentic, right? It yes. seemed like he, this guy's talking to you. He's a, he's a legit dude. He seems like a regular guy who happens to be brilliant and yes. all this other shit, but not phony. So How he did it is fucking incredible. It's, it's really brilliant. After Trump, every politician sounds like a fucking idiot when they talk. They sound like a liar. They sound like a used car salesman. Yep. They sound absolutely pathetic, and it enrages me listening to them. I don't care which side you're on. I get enraged because I know you're fucking lying to me. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's an act. Yes. It's like they're putting on an accent. They're doing the entire thing. You know why a lot of people, you know who else has that ability? Who? Michelle. And I think that's why a lot of people are like, yo, she should run. She because seems she authentic. Because she seems so authentic. Yeah. Which is what makes this heartbreaking. Oh, yeah. Akash did some snooping on Michelle. Nah, he trying to take down Michelle, bro. This is a doctored video. You want to play they, it, out? Can they, we play it? Well, when you said it's a doctored video, is that because Akash? <laughs> 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 okay, go. Really I want to start by thanking Harvey Weinstein for organizing this amazing day. This is possible because of Harvey. Uh, he is a wonderful human being, a good friend, and uh, just a powerhouse. So basically what it is, is uh, Michelle Obama congratulating Harvey Weinstein and saying he's a great guy and all this other shit. Now, I want to say in defense of Michelle Obama. She also calls him a good friend. Right. And I do want to say this. She's doing, and, and listen, you are accountable for your words, all that kind of stuff. They're not good friends. He paid for this whole fucking dinner. I'm sure it was like a donation type thing to raise money. Yeah. And she's doing the pleasantry. She's saying the right things. In no fucking way if she knew what was going on with this guy would she go out there and she'd say, in my opinion. I don't think so. Because I think there's too much political capital lost yeah. supporting a guy with this kind of shady shit going on. She could know he's a puss hound, but not out here, you know. Even that, she might not seat, even though. know that shit. Because she what? wasn't even, she might not even know about him being a pusshound. Like, she's not in the Hollywood world yet during this speech. Right. 
But Akash doesn't believe it. He's not convinced. Come on, son. Akash, go. Here's the only thing that trips me up yeah. is we would be giving her, and maybe she, rightfully so, maybe, we're, but we're giving her more credit than every other politician who has a picture with Jeffrey Epstein, who was cool with Jeffrey Epstein, and then all of a sudden is like, oh, I had no idea. And we're like, you fucking knew. What you talking about? You didn't know. Same thing we said about the um, Yo, that's a good all point. the rumors if, about comics and shit like and, that. If Trump and Epstein are in pictures together, all of a sudden it's like, yo, Trump knew everything Epstein was doing. But when Michelle, I, I'm just seeing my own bias right now. I don't that's see people really put the and Trump situation on him because there's only that one picture at the party, and then he said, "I stopped fucking with him." The ones we really drag the mud are the ones of, that hung out with him mad time. So how can you not see something after hanging out with a dude mad time? But if this you're saying that that's event. your good friends, one of and in 2013, I'm telling you, there were rumors of at least him being a colossal dickhead, at least. So wow. and also, I think Mark had a video that he pointed out from like ninety. Five? 2005. 2005, sorry. Courtney Love, what was it? What was her advice? Basically, some actress was like, hey, Courtney Love, if you wanted to give advice to a young actress in Hollywood, what would you say? And she was like, if Harvey Weinstein invites you to a party at the Four Seasons, don't go. Oh, so the rumors were out there. In 2005. And, and like I she, think Whitney was writing a bunch of roast jokes about Harvey Weinstein about what a creep he was back in the day, too. She said them on Stern. Mm. So, Courtney Love... Have you seen Courtney Love? Oh, oh wow. Shit. wow! It looks, it looks, wow. To, it looks to me, wow. Al, I'm that you could saying. be what is it called? Victim Being blaming. gay. What, gay? <laughs> yeah, gay. Oh yeah. Victim you're right about blaming. That. No, I'm just saying she doesn't look Yo, that credible. I'm sorry. Can I just give a little pushback on one thing? That's exactly what victim victim blaming. <laughs> <is>. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no! I'm just saying she looks like a whore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, have you seen the way she dresses? Yeah, yeah. perhaps you... it was her fault. <laughs> if we look at it that way. Now, now here's the thing, Al. Some might agree with you. Some might agree with you, but some might also say that that's incredibly sexist. Mm. And what you're saying. But wasn't she on drugs and a whole bunch of... Doesn't, it, wasn't she a party person? I don't really know too much about her, but wasn't she the one with that rock Dude, star you're, who you're killed not, himself? You're not digging yourself out of this hole, no, 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 I swear. No. I don't care. I, I don't swear care. you just keep doubling down without realizing it. Yeah, she, but, she killed Kirk man. Yeah, from partying and all this crazy shit. We ain't... <laughs> go ahead, no, I'm going. I'm sticking it. I'm going nowhere. I'm on this hill. We, we can't, can't be stopped now. Yeah. It's Weinstein for life. <laughs> <laughs> That's Al Steve song. Nah, this could be a learning experience for Alex. All right, go. So they were asking <laughs> for <laughs> it. <laughs> they were <laughs> asking for it. <laughs> All right, Al. Some people will say that you can't make that distinction even based on their behavior. That girls that exhibit this kind of party behavior can still get sexually assaulted too. And uh, also probably a lot of times girls that go through trauma like that start trying to cope with drugs and shit like that and partying, et cetera. Yeah, and killing Kurt Cobain. And, and killing Kurt Cobain because there's no way he could have Martin like gives a fuck about a guy who died the year he was born. <laughs> but still, but still. Yeah. Bro, he did, she did kill him because so she couldn't hold a shotgun to his In face. the court of law. <laughs> they measured it. They measured it. They measured it. He's going to pull it with his he toe? Did, it makes no it. sense. Exactly. <laughs> he's not going to do his toe. He's not Akash over here. <laughs> <laughs> fucking baboon food. So did y'all see the picture I sent? <laughs> yeah. Of the Girl. <laughs> what? Actually, it's cute. You know what I mean? Uh, fuck. So, oh. in the court of law, yeah. like she would be, she wouldn't be a credible witness. Why not? Because she's like documented being on drugs and being this party person and all uh, that. Type of thing. So that's what I'm saying. Sir, I hear you. It's hard. I swear to God, it's not getting better. I swear. To God. I mean, no. Nah, but this is you guys are teaching me, and now teach me. All right, this is what we're going to do. Before we teach you about this, we just need to acknowledge why we're dressed so sexy on this show. Mm. Okay, so I think now it's time. <laughs> so you're just going to leave me out there on that? Like, like, <laughs> motherfucker, save me. Now <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're leaving it on you, you and on an island. I fucking Sound alley, familiar? I alleyed up this learning experience yeah. three times for you, motherfucker. You're supposed to teach him that Al goes, wow, I learned something, and then we all feel better. Yeah. Oh, right now, Al, just blame the woman. <laughs> I, I, I swear we keep trying to explain it to you, and you're like, no, but in the court of law. You don't get it. So you literally made it illegal. Oh, okay. Nah, believe so all of them. Nah. This is, I know <laughs> this is hard for you to understand, but this is what they're trying really to say. Is. That when girls say they're raped, just hear them out. <laughs> that's, the, that's the basis of it. You don't go like, yeah, but you out there partying a lot. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, 
Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh. Right, yeah, it. but what was you doing on Saturday? <laughs> you was partying? No. Oh. <laughs> so, I don't blame them for getting raped. Oh. <laughs> Now I understand yeah. feminism. Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh, oh. It's, oh, it's so funny. Oh, it's ah. bad when they get raped. Oh, oh, I get it now. Oh my god! Uh, we guys, hate guys at home. I heard you. I hope you learned something. Man. <laughs> I hope you all learned something. All right, boom. So oh now it's time for the flaking fashion show. All right, so, um, are you guys dressed like? Whoa! <laughs> Al just offending one group after the next. <laughs> I think you guys probably heard a beep recently. <laughs> All right, so listen, we got to drop this flavor and fashion show. And why um, are we doing this? Why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's low key son, shade. It's son. so hard to forget. I, I like value of this guy son, and he forgets son, everything. Son, son, real talk. That's how I, I acted. Like when my girl asked me a question, I don't know the answer yet. I just repeat the question until I find the answer. So she's like, <laughs> she's like, why did it take you so long to go to the gym? I'd be like, why did it take me so long to catch it? Oh, I'll tell you why it took me so long to catch it. That's like, like when you ask a kid a math question and she's like, oh, that's easy. Uh, 17 times 7. Uh, uh, <laughs> all right, so, but listen, I don't know, Mark, why are we? <laughs> All right. Oh, because they were y'all were saying on Patreon how I was the best dressed comedian in worst the game. Dress. We said worst dress, yeah. and I said no. I'm by yeah. far the best dress. It's not even close. Son, I got tagged so many times. Uh, so many comedians. That I'm the best better dressed than comedian yeah. in the game. Hey, yo, I got so tagged in some guess, fly ass yeah. Yeah. Kevin so, Hart shit. Dude, Kevin, Kevin Hart. Hart. Kevin, Kevin Hart is a fly yeah. motherfucker, son. Woo! That motherfucker wear kids size is different. Bro. It don't matter. No, it does f- matter. It does that, matter. That's even better. Yeah, no, you got to get limited J's and kid sizes. Like they don't nah. even make limited J's. He gets and dressed at Build a Bear so. workshop. It's different. Bro. It is a Build a Bear workshop. He dresses like Build a Bear. Yeah, wow. Nah, so Build a Bear never be that fly. Like bears now. That's <laughs> what, that's they Build a Bear of the best dressed comedian. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Take that. So, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Al. Pew 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 pew. pew. Yeah. <laughs> Scoreboard. <laughs> Scoreboard. <laughs> Scoreboard. <laughs> all right, so real talk. But in all seriousness, I watch Kevin Hart when it comes to dressing. So basically, and everybody on this planet. We were saying Andrew's the worst dressed comedian. No, no, no. I'm by and far the best dressed and comedian. He said he's and the nobody's best dressed. close. And, and, and we said close. he's not even the best dressed on the podcast. And now we're having a fashion show. Okay. First of all, I'm without a doubt best dressed on a podcast. Not even close. Say, Al only dresses top up. Al dresses like a fucking Boston Terrier. <laughs> okay? Don't even got, you don't even got nothing on the bottom half, right? It's just that little outfit shit on the top. Winnie the Pooh look. Okay? Yeah, he Winnie. Okay? But he losing. Good. <laughs> Wow! I was reaching, yeah, I was reaching, bro. Yoga flame. I got flame that one, son. So, so after there was, we all completely agreed that I was the best dressed on uh, in all of comedy. Then we decided to have fashion show. Okay, yeah. mm-hmm. so Akash, first of all, judge my outfit. Well, let's start with Akash. Judge your outfit. Go. Well, are we doing? This is it. It started. This is it. Fashion, 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 <laughs> fashion. Hey, sweets. Let me introduce so who, you to my first? friend. Who's going first? Hold Akash on. is going first. Akash, you. what are you wearing today? Explain what you're wearing today. Uh, this is a, a traditional Indian clothing, Sherwani. It's called a Sherwani. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. And then Jay's on the feet, obviously. Jay's on the feet. Okay. Mm. You know, match as well as I could, killing it. I don't okay. really know what else I need to explain. There's nothing else you she need to explain. Fire. Okay. Some nice frags on the feet. You what, got the okay. nice what? What'd you say, dude? No, nah, no, nah, you don't know yeah, what you're yeah, talking yeah. about. I, I get out of here. Al, get out of here. Damn. Al, get out of here. We so, got to cut that. <laughs> no, no, we're not cutting it. Al, Al trying to cut everything to make him look bad. We all look stupid on this podcast. Yeah. That's part of it. That's all right? True. I'm here dressed as Carmen Sandiego. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Now, look. Um, Akash, you have, this, you have this outfit going on. Beautiful. It's fire. You're coming through with the fashion. It's nice. Mm-hmm. Okay, I mean? Um, listen, I got my shit right now. Obviously, I'm looking fly as fuck. I got the spotted pants and paint spotted pants. Like I was It's painting. the worst outfit you've worn ever. That's what your opinion. I have to change, bro. I'm not ready for the fashion. Oh, bro. you got no your change, shit? dog. Yeah. You're not that vital that if you go for a minute, we're going to miss you. <laughs> 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 what did you think this is? Who's going to know on. what time's happening with Hold on. Go, 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 get, go get your shirt. I hope they got some shit on the shoulder so Alex can get it. <laughs> 
<laughs> I missed it. I don't get because it. Because if he's not here, it's just the side frame. Oh, oh okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So the outfit, go. Well, are we doing a fashion show? We're not walking. Why? Because there's not really space. I mean, we can walk in front, but like, are we really gonna get it? All right, go get your shit. We'll talk in the meantime. Go get your shit. All right, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna have an actual fashion show. All right, so everybody listening right now, you can keep tuned in because we're gonna give you vivid descriptions of what's going on. And everybody watching, you are welcome. We're gonna start it off with my man Akash Singh, but you know that you can't have a fashion show without some music. So Mark is on the ones and ones, yeah. and he's going to play some music for us. DJ Mark Gagnon in the mm, building. Yeah. Hit it, guys. Young Marky G. Scratchatory Rave. Oh, shit. <laughs> you ready? Okay, Akash, go. Uh, uh. Oh. Okay, Akash is out here. Let me see it. Let me see it. Turn around. Show the people. He got the suit on. I'm not exactly sure what it is. It's a blazer. It looks like it's for somebody that's Ooh. way taller than him. He's okay. like a general. Fire, huh? No, 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 no. He got the moves with it. If you, you got think no he moves, got moves? You you got do, move. can you hit the doggy in that shit? Oh, wait, wait. Hey! hey. 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 Oh. Hey, like it's Yo. Oh, shit. I'm not going to lie. The tails on her are crazy, bro. Son, that shit is so fire. Looks Son, like I'm Indian like Beethoven. <laughs> yeah, it is weird. I don't even know how to roast it. I'm going to be honest. Like, there's a lot I want to say about it. But I don't really know what to say just right now. But it does have this very like militaristic vibe to mm. it. Is this a military type outfit? No, not that I know of. This is just a suit. This is Any regal Indian will wear. This is regal shit. Oh, this is like you got to be part of the upper caste. No, I think at this point, obviously, you just buy it. But I think that's how it started. Probably okay. like most things. All right, man. I wish I had I'm more guessing. for it. Do you guys have anything for it? I wish I had more so roast for it. It's too fly. It's like, kind of fire. You can't make fun of that. I won, guys. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get that suit. I was asking me legit where you could buy it. I, <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't wear that shit. I would wear it. I'm I gonna wear it know. to a black wedding. You would wear that to a black. Well, wedding? that's interesting. You wouldn't know this, but I wore this to my wedding. So it's it's very dear to me. It's Bro, very get that dear knife to me. out of your bag, dude. Oh, Jeez, that was harsh. I didn't think we had to go oh, back into this, but that was really harsh. So you put that whole thing on just to go on Zoom. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, it was a very important day. Bullshit Ooh, Skype let's wedding. get ready to rumble. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but like, let's for real, let's go. Let's move on before I get angry. It's uh, time. <laughs> All right, Alex, what did you wear today? Bring yeah, it, bring it outfit? up to the front. Oh. Let's go, Al. Let's see what you got. Alex came through. They can't see your sneakers anyway. It's all good. I'll pause they can't. It. They can't really see it. And Mark, in this time, you know what you should probably do? Get you back. should check to see if we're in the wide, which hopefully we are. And then you should also go get dressed in your outfit. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's see it. Okay. Al okay. coming through. We asked him to get dressed up for the fashion show. Obviously, he didn't do any effort whatsoever. He's got, um, I don't know what that is. What is the color on the top, would you say? Salad. He's a sa <laughs> He got salmon. He got salmon pronouncing the L. So keeping it extra. Um, we got some Nike. I don't know. Air Force One off white collab. That's what's up. Keeping it like your girl. Off white. <laughs> um, and I like the pants. I'm not going to lie. The pants are kind of fire. Al is coming through. This might be one of Al's first fits that I am top to bottom supportive of. You know what? He prepared for the fashion show because he put on pants. That's right. Normally Usually he's wearing Lululemon tights or whatever. No, this got is the kith pants. The kith pants. Honestly, he's kind of dressed nice. He's dressed kind of nice. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I don't know about win yet. Nah, nah, nah. I don't know win yet, sure. but Al came uh, through. I won for sure. Al came through. I thought he was gonna wear one of them stupid ass shirts again, but he didn't. He actually came through in a very difficult to roast outfit. <laughs> Shoes are coming off. Okay, Mark Gagnon, what do you have for us? Come on in right now, son. Oh, Jesus fucking what the Christ, fuck, Mark. Yo. Holy oh, shit. He really I knew he, I told y'all he was going to act like he wasn't going to come in. He was going to act like it wasn't a big but deal. I'm just saying, why didn't you take it with you? I, the way he laughed at Al, I'm telling you, it was like, you stupid idiot. You didn't prepare. I got some shit. Mark, if you don't come in in 10 seconds, it's over. Okay? You're about to be disqualified. Disqualified in 10, 9, Nine eight, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Oh, oh shit. shit. <laughs> All right, it's coming Mark to the frame. Mark came through. 
Son, button your fucking pants, yeah, dog. Yeah, yeah, son, I can't look weird. at this shit. Yo, Al saw Mark's dick earlier. Yeah, I did just, I did like just see animal, Mark's dick. Savage. Yo, Dude. real talk, though, you should get that little freckle Mark check. Yo, son. Because this is this. Yo, you know what Mark is? Nah, that shit on your dick. You got to get that. You got to get that check, son. Son, this that is shit crazy. Might be you know that they, they they found the people who killed, uh, or they think killed Run DMC, right? And Mark is dressed as Jam Master Gay. <laughs> <laughs> son, son, killing it. He got the chain and everything, bro. Okay. Look at that. He got the stick. Oh, oh wow. He brought out so, the. Wow. Yo, Al, do you got these? Nah, wow. I got those, son. Son, he really got the run D in me's right there. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you got, son. Mark. Oh this and he God. got the rude collab sneakers. I mean, this is you really went for it, Mark. You you definitely are the most feminine. Yeah, um, yeah, for sure. But I don't it even is know what, what it is, bro. Oh, yeah. so this is what you call walk right androgynous. In front of the Say what? <laughs> that's androgynous. No, that's right? just female. Because <laughs> <laughs> all right, I can't, I can't leave. All right, out. my turn, y'all. All right. All right. Okay, you guys gotta hold this now. So, all right. Uh. Obviously, had to come through. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Got the Ryan Ramalau, uh hat on. You know uh. what I'm saying? Beautiful piece of artwork right here. Uh. You know, I got this, the, the paint splatter pants. Paint splatter. I got the suit mm. shirt left unbuttoned. Show uh. that chest meat. Oh, you already uh. know that I hate taco that meat. hat, yo. I hate that, that hat. He looks taco like your boy a scarecrow. Son. <laughs> son. <laughs> like a gay Steve Irwin. He's the cock hunter. Yeah, that shit kind of is trash. I hate it, yo. Hold on one second. I got so one more yeah, part. Yeah, it's kind of trash, though. Y'all, y'all gotta wait one more second because I'm the best dressed comedian it. on the planet. You better oh, yeah. elevate it right now. Let's name comedians that are better Bro. dressed than Andrew. Oh. He talks so much shit. Us three are better dressed for sure. Yeah. Son, and this is not me not even trying. Yeah, Al legit didn't prepare. He talked so much shit on what was it Friday? Pa yeah, Patreon. And he was going off about how he's gonna have the best outfit. The biggest stand-up comedy patron, the biggest comedian patron in the world. <laughs> just saying that, you know what I mean? Just throwing that out there. We'll talk about it more in a bit. But wow. uh, but maybe that's why he dresses like that. He's too he, rich to he, understand he dresses like trash. That's the problem. Uh, he's so rich now. Mm. Like when he was describing the hat off cam, he was like, "Oh, he." Outsources this material. It's the widest he's ever sounded. Oh, you yeah. were, what was he saying? He yeah. outsourced this from. Uh, oh, he just Lunk finds it in Tibet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck? So that's, oh, so rich. that's what that happened. That's rich. Yeah. When you just get to that level, you start caring about stupid shit. Well, you know who thing, says like, you need no people in your life? It's yeah. Kevin Hart. That's why he flies. Yeah. If you can afford pretty much anything, you can. You only want things that are like super obscure, coveted, like you can't find anywhere. Mm. That's what that bitch ass hat is. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Oh my God, son. worst dress. I hate that hat. Worst dress. What's taking you so long, dog? Come on, son. I'm about to be disqualified in 10, 9, oh, 8. Oh, oh, that's fire! Oh, that's shit. Fire. Oh, oh, shit. Fire. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, I can't through, son. Let's go, oh, yo. yo. Oh, Let's go, shit. Yo. Yo, yo. Out, Mark. Is the Tim's hot Yo, or is it not, hot, bro? Son. Those are fire. This shit is fire. Yeah, that pulled that. the whole outfit together. That's what I was missing, bro. <laughs> Yo. Yo, no lie. Those Tim's look fire. They <laughs> fire are sick. Sick. <laughs> I tried to tell y'all. Like, listen, nah, what, what nah, are you nah, talking about? You had it. You had it. Yeah, you had different Tim's. You had different ones, bro. What'd you try to tell us? Yeah, what were you trying to tell us? Those are the firest ass shoes ever. What's nah. this guy talking about? <laughs> yeah. Even though I didn't think about Zims, bro. Son. These shoes are fire. These are fire. If that's what you're saying, then yeah, you're right. You yeah. have some old wax shits. Yeah. This is the heat right here, bro. <laughs> that little maca <laughs> Tim. Those shits are kind of fire. I so. know, nah, bro. I don't know about that. Them shits is waterproof oh. in the front a little. Mm hmm. And then just the white bottom is kind mm -hmm. of fire, super comfortable. But doesn't that feel? Don't that like really pull the outfit together? It's cool because it it's it's Tim's, but it's not. It doesn't look like regular Tim's. Exactly. They look like just not as like construction-y, you know? Ex exactly. I'm not a construction worker, so I don't need to construct. Are y'all done? No. Are y'all done? Are you done? <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> come back. <laughs> Yo, come here, bro. Stop playing. Oh, 
Oh shit! Oh, <laughs> like I didn't see it coming. You oh know, shit! Oh, I knew, no, son. You didn't. Oh, I knew, son. Oh, oh. No, you didn't. I didn't fucking no. No, dog. you didn't know. Hey, we twinsies out this bitch. Yo, oh, oh, you really got my motherfucking Tim's. Yo, bro. those shoes yo. suck. I yeah, yeah, yo, those yo, are trash. Nah, those are trash. Shoes, son, though. let me tell you something. Nah, I didn't realize they were trash till I saw them on you. No, yo, though, for real, though. Real shit. Yours is different. Yo, those are different. Look, push yours up and put mine up. Hey, look how yours looks so stupid. Yeah, yeah, you right. <laughs> in the front, also you're they're right. stupid, and also you're in the right. back. You right. Yeah, dude. You're right. You yo, know those what? suck, bro. Yeah, yo, you yeah, got some trash right. ass Tims, bro. Yeah, Why right. is it so hard for you to get Tims? You know what? And get I don't the know, right pair. I'd be setting trends. That's what I'd be doing. Ooh. Be setting trends. <laughs> oh, oh yo, okay. Yo. Best dressed comedian in the game, I oh, think. You know what I mean? oh, oh, how you gonna tell me? Yeah, my shit is. That's fucked oh, up. Oh shit! Yo. Said the shots. Yo, those are um, shots. Damn, bro. I thought we were gonna troll him for longer. Now <laughs> <laughs> nah, he came prepared. Bro. I know. Did y'all fucking s- little snitch? Did y'all no. snitch? No. no, nobody snitched. How'd you know? What gave it off? You live with Andrew. You spend enough time with Andrew. You know when the joke is coming. Uh, I knew when the joke was coming. Wow. When last week? Patreon. Yeah. yeah. What gave it away? You just said fashion show too confidently, mm. and you said it to me like. <laughs> Motherfucker, this for you. And I was like, I know. Ah, oh, fuck. Damn, son. Yo, Mark, did you My order disposable though. cameras? Yeah. Why? Just well, to we have. can take pictures of these fly ass shoes, son. <laughs> the fuck you think? All right, I'm just making sure Mark wasn't making personal purchases on my Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> and you were just going to call him out right on the podcast. <laughs> that's, that's content. <laughs> if I got him, that's content right there. Bro. That shit is for his wedding. It's the most dangerous shit ever, bro. It's like, as soon as this thing fucks up, he's like, yo, Mark, you're a piece of shit. So. <laughs> <laughs> were, you, <laughs> were you trying to steal from the company? <laughs> <laughs> the show must go on, Mark. Oh, the show must why on me? <laughs> sometimes sometimes yeah. it gotta go, bro. That's what it is. Oh my god! So god, real talk, man. All right, now that the gig is up, these are really horrible. You know what? I didn't realize they were bad till I saw them on you. And now you see how stupid you look. Now I see it. Why now do you I think it. you had to see it on me? You just really pulled it together with the stupidity. Like the rest of the outfit right. exposed the whole sneaker, and I was like, "That's yeah. a problem." Yeah, I'm the best dressed comedian. <laughs> <laughs> Positive affirmations, dog. All right. Um, Do you think you're pulling it off better than Akash? Yeah, 100%. No. 100%. No chance. No chance. Yeah, you're swimming in those, dude. Those are three sizes too big for you. Well, I just got them <laughs> laced so fucking big. You know what I mean? Say again? I just got them laced so loose. No, but even then. So like, swagged out with the laces. Your ankle looks stupid in them. Everything I, looks I be stupid. having skinny ankles. <laughs> don't, yeah. don't tell you're showing too much of yours to be insulting anybody's <laughs> ankles. I'm just saying, I show it because it's beautiful. <laughs> no, I got just the right amount of hair. No, nah, let me tell you something. For real. I look like a Russian's back. No, nah, let me tell you something. <laughs> Your beauty ends. <laughs> Looks like an Indian's midriff. <laughs> got an unhappy Yo, trail. Dude. Real talk. <laughs> you got the real trail of tears. Yo, son, that's fire. For real, bro. Is it typical for you to look at that? What, that? Yeah. You show it all the time. But is it difficult? Does it like turn you on? Is that? <laughs> <laughs> like every once in a while do you catch it and you're like, oh, titties. I mean, no, no, that's just. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, man. Uh, for real. Nah, Drew, this, this looks not it, son. You, you don't think it's it? It's not it. And I would give it to you if it's not it, son. Damn, guys. Shirt, what about the paint splatter? Shirt's too big. <laughs> <laughs> fucking I smurf cum you, on your pants. The first time I saw you wear the, <laughs> what'd you say? <laughs> smurf cum on my pants. <laughs> I'm not even lying. The first time you wore those pants was the first day in the studio. Yeah. And I was looking around like, where's the blue? What the fuck is this guy? There's no way he bought you these like that this. I, actually, I thought you actually painted no. in these. No, no, sir. I wish he did. <laughs> fuck. Repainted. Anyway, guys, look, um, we have uh, more time to fill. <laughs> <laughs> so, we, so it's on to the next topic. Right. Can we just talk about how Mark pissed in the sink. So. Yo, that's disgusting, yo. That, you yo. vile, yo. Out. That's vile. Literally, and there's then, three stalls. I was furious because Akash broke rule number one that we have yeah. at the studio. Thank I you. didn't know that was a there rule. There are three stalls. Yeah, yes. clearly. Okay? You see his shit splatter all <laughs> We're here 10 fucking 12, 14 hours a day sometimes. What? <laughs> What? That's a lot of hours you put in. There. Well, I started at ten. It didn't seem enough okay. <laughs> because sometimes we're here fourteen. Oh, that's a good point. So I don't want to undershoot us. Yeah, you know? twelve hours a day, minimum. 
<laughs> 12 hours a day. That means we have to take at least two to three yeah. shits. <laughs> what? He said 10. He then said you were like, no, nah, sometimes 14 every once in a while. So I made it 12. And then I said 12 and you were like, nevertheless, <laughs> never less than 12. It couldn't be less than 12. Son, <laughs> my brain is beautiful, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have to take two or three shits. Mm -hmm. The left urinal stall or whatever is the shit one. You don't pee in that one. Hey, yeah. noted. You know what I mean? But I thought I was doing you guys a favor taking the furthest stall. I got in first. I was like, oh, people are peeing behind me. Let me give them yeah. the better stall. Yeah, you thought, I'm a giving person like yeah, that. You thought someone and then wait. Mark, the animal, ruined it for everybody, pissed in the sink. My shit was out of charity. His was out of selfishness. How Mark selfishness? pulled out his fucking dick, his uncircumcised dick, and started dragging his foreskin <laughs> all over the right. fucking sink and it's peed in it. <laughs> and Al, you saw his dick. It's disgusting. Well, well, let me just say, how do we know that the shit toilet is the shit toilet? You know how we know? Because Andrew never flushes that shit. I, it's a toilet. <laughs> wait, wait. Do I not? <laughs> never. Because y'all be like, come on, we got to get back to work. <laughs> <laughs> this is really you guys. And there's just yeah. old shit floating in the toilet yeah, getting the air all shitty. That should be nasty. So. Really? Yeah, you have like explosive shit, dog. Because yeah. it'd be like everywhere in the bowl. It, it goes just sit in the solid. water. So. When was the last time Honestly, it was solid? I go off the backboard every single time, so, and right? I think I have a higher facing asshole because most people shit drops straight down the ask. toilet. My shit goes back. It's like Al's dick. dick. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why it is that way. No, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, but so for real. But why don't you flush? I do flush. Because uh, to me, that's the equivalent of just shitting on the ground and then it's just in the air. No, wow. it's not. Pissing in the sink is still worse. Yeah. That's bad. Yo, no one's talking about worse. pissing in the sink. Can Who's we talk about Mark's about? dick, though? Did you see it? <laughs> yeah. What he, color? I did not. He has a freckle on his dick. Well, how much Where? did you look at it? I mean, I got a glance. <laughs> <laughs> you got a freckle you on what a... part of his dick? Yeah, which part? I mean, like I a don't know. mole? It's a small mole, like yeah. Do you think you have a hort? I have a small hort, yeah. You have a hort? <laughs> and some hair, yeah. So imagine oh, you I got, see all that. Imagine you got herpes <laughs> and you only fuck one girl, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. You would know exactly oh. who got I'd that. I'd be a yeah. motherfucking problem. Yo. Oh, man. <laughs> I'd be so you mad. got to marry her. <laughs> Yo, right? We in this together. That's the ring. Yeah. <laughs> you want some shit for life, babe? <laughs> <laughs> nah, it didn't look like no herp. I ain't gonna put no herp on Mark, but nah, you can't put a herp on Mark, nah. but you could because that's a faithful man. So it really wouldn't matter. Because <laughs> no. you're not hurting his chances of pousset around oh, the world. Okay. Yeah. It would but. just ruin his relationship <laughs> with his current girlfriend. <laughs> it might not. It might not. It might prove that she's a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. So far she's not though. <laughs> Which is good. That's very good. Yeah, she's listening. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. Back to saving lives. Yeah. yeah. Okay, <laughs> you're in a hospital. What are you doing listening to this? <laughs> yeah. That's what we got to do is shame our girls for listening during the pod. Back to work. What are you? <laughs> That's why it's so busy because yeah. you're always listening to the podcast. Why is the apartment so dirty done? right now? Yeah. Jeez. Make the bed. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what? <It's a> wild <laughs> boy, right? <laughs> yeah. what? Mark, Mark's the king, yo. I know. Right? We so act like Mark ain't the king. What? Mark's the fucking king. What? Yeah, something's dude. going on over there. So she's missing a foot or something. Like that. <laughs> we don't know about. There's something going on. I got to look to see she got all her limbs and some shit. Or maybe Mark convinced her she's missing a foot. He's like, now nah, you got phantom limb syndrome. You think you have a foot, but you don't really have a foot. Stop looking at my girl's feet, dude. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's looking at his feet nonstop. <laughs> this guy needs to chill. Yeah, that's wild. That's wild so. Those are my feet. Bro. <laughs> anyway, all right. go back to the top. Let's see what we got. We got some more shit that we, we got to talk to y'all about. Uh, oh, we should talk about this. Um, these these here on playoffs happening hell in the bubble. Yeah, dog. You finally started watching? I did. It's I finally so good. Started watching. It is really good, man. I was watching yesterday. I was watching inside a bar with other people also watching the game. How great well, was that? That was a dope feeling. Mask on, dope mask feeling. off. Like mask uh, on. Nah, I had it off because I was eating also and drinking. Yeah. Social distance at least. Six yeah, feet? yeah, yeah. Okay. And they had like barriers in. The oh, bar. that's great, yo. It's pretty dope. Are, so, are you allowed to be in the bar where you were? Yeah. What was the, where, where were you? Long Island. And they don't have the same like restrictions. No, nah, city's different. Oh, I thought it was a whole state of New York. No. Nah. Oh. They operate different. Bro. They ain't pussy over there. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'll tell you, it was good to watch. I was watching my boy Luka Doncic. I know. He got, they got fucked. My Mavericks got fucked. Oh, that's the NBA. That's the NBA. I don't want to say it's shit. fixed. Oh, you really think so? 
Yeah, they're not on. gonna let the Clippers lose, bro. I don't, maybe the Clippers don't match up that well with uh, the Mavs. Well, they swept them in the regular season. The Mavs and swept that, the Clippers. But if you listen to Dallas, everybody's like, "We can't play the Clippers in the first round." That's our toughest matchup. Mm. They, especially if you're Luca, the the best long arm defenders in the league, basically, are all on that team. Essentially, son, Luca was dominant. There's son. a there's a time where Luca, straight up, where you going? Okay, where Luca straight up bullied Kawhi Leonard, bro. He drove to the basket with his right hand, mm. put his shoulder in Kawhi, bumped him, mm. sent Kawhi flying, and then just hit a little layup at the rim. This guy is gonna be so fucking nice. So he's the that truth. He's already so. nice. So he's he is the truth. I so. mean, he's gonna be like we're talking. Yo, he is he the closest thing to LeBron we got? I mean, he's not nearly the defender, and he's not nearly as quick. It's so in different in terms of size, passing ability, ability to finish around the rim. He's a better shooter than LeBron was. He will not be LeBron, but like, who's another guy with that size, that passing ability? Larry Bird, bro. Larry, but Larry he's, Bird. A, he's a little more athletic than Larry yes, Bird. Yeah. He's a fascinating, and he's getting quicker. He was like, <sighs> he's kind of just like a chubby person, I think. But like, you can tell he's working on everything. He still gets tired at the end of games. Yeah, but he's quicker. In the bubble than he was before. Mm. Like he yeah. clearly worked out. In the he's got deceptive speed, man. He's he's like, um, yeah, man. It's really hard to find like a you know a mirror image of him in the league at all. But yeah, like he has his style of play. Yeah, it's different. He's Patrick different. Beverly can't stay in front of him. Yeah, Paul George can't stay in front of him. None of them. Kawhi can't stay in front of him. None of them can stay in front of him. He he goes to the basket at will, mm. and he's so tall he can finish over anybody. Yeah, and then he can actually shoot. Yep. So it's it is really. But I would interesting. say I would say the exact same about Kawhi though. I saw not too many people could stay in front of him. Oh, Kawhi! Yeah, he just dude. We don't talk about Kawhi enough. This yeah. guy is the way he plays the game. It just is too easy yeah, for him. I agree. He he is. is gonna go down as one of the greatest players of all time. I think. Huh. Yeah. I mean, it's it was great games though. Fucking. You great. see Dame be back? No, Dame, I didn't see Dame. Bro. Yeah. Fucking killer though. Yeah. This yeah. guy is the idea that people still think Kyrie is better is so laughable. Yeah. Everybody taking my take now. ESPN had a poll. Who's better, Kyrie or Dame? Remember mm. I said Dame was better a year yeah. ago? Dame is the fucking truth. And there's a, a post, some rookie on the Blazers said back in like February or early March, uh, Dame said to this rookie, he said, what I'm about to do, you ain't never seen in your life. We making these fucking playoffs. Mm. And everything went to shit and gave him a much better chance. But my man, after he missed those two free throws against the Clippers, just dominant 60 scare. point game, 50 point game, 40 point game, like unreal. And yeah, I shot a shit with like Lakers. skip. Not so give, well, skip not giving him his props and shit like that. Uh, then like skip like calling him and yeah. like just copping please on the phone. And that's the thing about Skip is you just gotta look at him as an entertainer, not yes. as an actual news. Hundred percent. And he's entertaining. So yeah, watch it. Like it's fun. It's he's great. Sports Rush Limbaugh, but not like hateful, but just like that's yeah. just a character in a thing. It's wrestling. None of it is real. Yes. But then why does Stephen A's word hold more weight? Just I think Stephen A is a little bit more accurate in the sports that he knows. I think he's a little less biased too. Mm. Like the sports that Stephen A knows, he's pretty legit. I mean, he doesn't know anything about boxing or MMA. Maybe boxing a little, but not MMA. Mm. But um, but when it comes to, I think what was his initial? He was like a basketball writer in Philadelphia. Yeah, and I think Stephen A started off less like Skip, so we still see him as that. Yeah, and then he's become more like Skip with the hot takes, and he's anti Cowboys because Skip was Cowboys or whatever. Yeah. But like now, it's we already know who Stephen A is and what he knows and all that. He's got chops, and we know that Skip. Came onto the national scene like this. Yeah. This is how he got his name. Uh, so I think we look at Skip like that's who you are. Yeah. Stephen A has more credibility because he earned it early on. Gotcha. But it's good to see things are happening. I really hope they do a, a documentary about the bubble, man. Can't just, be done by the NBA though. Yeah, it's got to be an independent company. I'm just I'm just hearing so many cool stories coming out of the bubble, and I hope they do it by like aggregating all of the players and coaches' personal footage, like their cell phone footage. Yeah. Oh, like an oral history, but in video. Yeah, so it's like you have the documentaries, uh, in like interview style, where it's yeah. just somebody in a room talking, and then you use the footage from their phones that they've been documenting while they're there. It'll be all saved on their Instagram stories and all that kind of shit, and you display that over, mm. you know, the stories that they're telling. Yeah. And I think it'll just be so cool, man. I'm just hearing so, such cool shit that's happening. Anything you talk about? Nah, uh, not really. I just don't want to like break that. Yeah. You know, trust. The, the thing, the rule change that allows them to now bring girls in, is it ex, is it for everybody, men, women, families, or is it just players? Yeah, you know how players. I don't know. Like, that's interesting. That's a good question. I'm I imagine it's for everybody, but there are so many people there that maybe it wouldn't be reasonable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one hundred percent. There's no way that they're letting just every 
assistant coach and have people come to the game. If LeBron can only have one person come to the game, there's no way the assistant coach can have the same amount uh. of people. So I think it's just their way of going like, look, they're locked in here. They're going to go fucking crazy unless they get some pussy. Yeah. Let's let them fly. And honestly, if you're a GM, you should be able to leave. Like, you don't have to be there at the playoff games. You do the quarantine protocol, Mm -hmm. but go during the playoffs for five days, whatever. See whoever you need to see. The only people that really need to say are the players, the head coach. And honestly, they could probably, I don't know, maybe they could do like a break built into the bubble. Where like for a week everybody goes, you got two days and come back. That's quarantine. the problem is you're gonna get corona during the yeah, break. Yeah. They literally have no cases right now. Yeah, that's true. That's the perfect scenario. So they created a new corona test. Just for them. N- well, they were using it just for them, a saliva test, and it's now it's becoming a cheaper test alternative to the nose swab. Let yeah. capitalism win, bro. Yeah. yeah. Let it's, people it's who are incentivized by money. Quicker, cheaper. Yeah. But that's the thing, it's like you heard what happened with that rookie on the Seahawks. Which one? There was a rookie that uh, got let go from the sn- team because he had a girl a come to the snuck yeah. girl into the uh, hotel. But it's just like it's a perfect example. It's like yeah. if you don't lock them in a bubble, they're gonna have hoes come through, and the hoes are gonna spread that rona. And to your capitalism point, that's an idiot. Like let the strongest survive or whatever. Like you, you're too dumb to be a rookie and try to bring a bitch in. Yeah. You don't want this job. Be out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe Didn't he, a, he tried to dress her up like a guy. Nah, isn't that what he did? Yeah, that's like, hilarious. Tried to make her look like a team player. <laughs> so funny. That's hilarious. Like, How know. ugly was this bitch? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, nah, you probably just got to put like a big hoodie on her or some shit like that with the team. I logo. mean, if you're a if you're a bad bitch, you there's no way you could possibly pass for a fucking raw, wide receiver, tight end, whatever. <laughs> yeah, like, there's nothing. Nah, that Kicker ain't maybe, but ain't no black kickers. It's got to be a white girl. And even then, I, you know. How you cover that b- bosom? How you cover that bosom? <laughs> <laughs> um, my boys. Y'all got any predictions? Is it, or it's too early? I want to say the Blazers are going to give the Lakers a lot of trouble, mm. take them to seven. Uh, I don't think they will. I think we want to believe they will, but I don't think they will. What's the series? Have they started yet? No. See, they're, they're Start games are today, today, right? Today, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't think. Uh, I think they're out of here quick. But still, it's a cool story. Yeah, I game. mean, he and this is the guy who was campaigning. Like, he literally said, "I'm not going to play if I don't have a chance to make the playoffs." And then they said, "All right, you got a chance." And he was like, "All right, let's go." After he had 61 against the Mavs, I watched his post game, and he was just like, "This is the most important thing in my life right now. Like, this is I want this more than anything. This is what I, I this is what I called for. Mm. They gave me the opportunity. We have to make these playoffs." I love it. What do you think about the Suns? You know, Suns go 8-0 and in the bubble. And then they get bounced. And then they get bounced. But, like, do you think that there's some promise or do you think people just weren't really playing? The teams that already clinched their playoff seeds, are they really caring? Well, my whole beef with Devin Booker all before was you're so good, but you don't win. Your team never wins. Right. This is only eight games, but an eight-game winning streak is pretty, like, I ain't seen Kyrie do that on a team that's not good, Mm. that's not stacked. Mm. So I'm impressed. You know what I mean? Like, that, because that was my knock is you're that vain who, like, Kevin Love, whatever. You're great. But as the alpha dog, your team don't win. Mm. Yeah. His team went on a little streak, and he he did it. Like he put him on his back. Yeah. So if he can do that, and Aiton can develop, they're promising. Yeah, I guess I don't know. We'll Draymond see Green happens. said he needs to leave and got fined. Say what? Draymond Green was like, he got to get off. This. He got to get out of the Suns. They're not going anywhere. Else. That is weird though. Like Draymond Green. Oh yeah. So so Draymond Green was was on like Inside the NBA. Yeah. Right. Which is a show where you're supposed to give your opinions yeah. about basketball. Yeah. yeah. It is an opinion based show about basketball. Yeah. He gave his opinion, but because he's an active basketball player, he got fined for that opinion. Mm-hmm. Don't hire active basketball players. You know what should right? happen? TNT should cover that fine. Otherwise, you're not going to get active basketball players to come on your show. Yeah, mm-hmm. like it's just such a weird thing. Or accept that this is the platform and it promotes the game by having active basketball players on that platform. Mm-hmm. You have to let them say whatever they want within that you know, sphere. Yeah, it might be tough to do, but don't have them go on there and being com- completely neutered. I mean, he just yeah. gave an opinion. He said, "Get out of Phoenix." Maybe it, it's like tampering or something. Tampering. Yeah, it's is nonsense. that what they said? Yeah. All these players are texting each other. Is that you really that hard? Phone. Yeah, but is it is that tampering to go? Hey, that team isn't good. I don't to the think team so. that isn't good. Well, he said, "Yo, he got to get out of there." But he didn't he say come to the Warriors. Yeah, like. I don't know, bro. If he I mean, said I he got to leave, to do, but like, yeah, let's be real. These guys all text each other to recruit anyway. So, yeah, like, what's no, the fuck? That is a pretty dumb rule. Yeah, why can't you recruit? What is the issue with that? Why can't you recruit? What's wrong with that? I guess they don't want super teams. I mean, they they're do. having it anyway. Yeah, but I mean, it would uh, player-led super teams. But that happens they want anyway. Organizations putting those shits together. Oh, so this rule comes from the owners. 
most likely. It's not the think. players. Yeah. I just don't think it's, it makes any sense whatsoever. You should allow the players to talk to each other because they're going to do it in private anyway. When they do it on TV, it's wrong. Just let them say, hey, come play with us. Why wouldn't every player go, hey, we'd love LeBron on the team. Come on over. You think that's really going to make LeBron go, well, maybe I should go to Orlando. Mm. <laughs> it's not going to affect the game yeah. at all. Yeah. 100%. Like if they, it's just such a stupid thing to find. Let the players tamper. It'd be way more fun if they're out there campaigning on the fucking post-game interviews. That'd be so fun. Yeah. It, it's, this is wrestling. Make it wrestling. I get the idea of not criticizing the officials, right? Yeah. And like punishing them for criticizing the officials because you have to protect the officials. If there was no recourse whatsoever for saying whatever you wanted about the officials, then after every single loss, they'd be like, yes, look, yeah, that guy David's them. a piece of shit. And it, his undercuts, it undercuts the authority of the officials. Mm. Like in hockey, there's no text, right? There's no T's. So they call the officials maggot. Like mm. there's crazy YouTube videos right. and it's hilarious. They're just insulting the shit out of the officials because there is no, there's nothing to stop them. Right. There's nothing to incentivize them otherwise. Yeah. So Don't you they can't put them in really, that little box thing, and they can't. But play that's just for when it? they treat each other bad. You need a deterrent. You need uh. some sort of deterrent. So I get it, but when it comes to tampering, get that shit out of there. Let these guys tamper. It'd be amazing. It'd be so fun to watch. Yeah. So anyway, liking each other's Instagram pictures, whatever other stupid shit we got to look for. Yeah. Make it out. Put Burner it out accounts, there. all that yeah. nonsense. So, all right, guys, we're gonna take a break. Let me tell you something about the mattress that I used to have. That shit was trash. It was supposed to be good. Top rated mattress on Amazon. Everybody's saying, hey, it's great for the price. Trash. Foam, supposed to be so good, so soft. My girl and I get so goddamn hot on this mattress. Yep. I was sleeping on the couch more than I was the bed itself. Mm -hmm. Then Helix came through, said, yo, we know everybody's different. We got a hybrid bed that's going to get less hot, foam and coil springs. And since some people like soft beds, medium beds, hard beds, take this quiz and we're going to give you the mattress that's perfect for you. Mm. I took a quiz online, took less than five minutes. I think Al, you taking the same quiz or Mark, you took the same quiz. This shit is incredible. I'm sleeping better. I'm not dying, boiling in my sleep, throwing covers off. Everything about this mattress is great. And honestly, I think they won awards. You know, I'll be doing research because I'm Indian. Uh -huh. They won awards from GQ. Men's Health, uh -huh. if you're a dude, these are the best brands you need to know. Right. Wired, if you're a dork. And yeah. I think something like Apartment Living or something like that, they've been winning all these awards. Yeah. It's a great mattress, guys. Go to Helix.com. If your mattress sucks, the single most important thing you can do is sleep well. That's right. So go to Helix.com, take the sleep quiz, and when you buy, uh, put it in promo, uh, when you go to Helix.com slash flagrant, you get $200 off your mattress Ooh. and two free pillows. Not no bullshit ass, thin ass pillows. I'm talking about high quality. You will sleep well on these Let's pillows. Go. Pillows. Go get it. Go get that, man. Go sleep better. Enjoy your life. Now let's get but, back to the show. Anyway, um, so here's a, an interesting story. They, they said that uh, AMC is bringing back um, movies. I think it's this week. And they're going to be 15 cents to honor the same price that they were in 1927 or something like that. Yeah. And they're putting out like classics, like Back to the Future is one of them. Right. A couple others, I think. I think uh, Star Wars. Are movies done? I think that's the real question. I don't think so. What do you mean by movies? I think movie theaters. Sorry, not movies. Movie theaters. I think movie theaters are done, dude. I don't think they come back. Didn't they recently get rid of some law that uh, prevented studios from opening their their own theaters? Did they? I believe so. Interesting. So That's now crazy you're probably they even gonna, had a law. Yeah, now you're going to probably see like just big studios have just their movies. So it's a tricky thing, right? Because the issue with putting a film out directly to VOD, which is video on demand, where you mm -hmm. just buy a pay-per-view essentially, is it becomes incredibly easy to download it and then just repost it on one of those like yeah. torrent websites. Yeah. Now you watch a bunch of movies on those torrent websites, yeah. right? Thanks for stitching. Say what? Thanks for stitching. We got you, dogs. Yeah. Um, so you can't do it if you're in a – and also another thing is if you watch a movie on VOD, you download it, and then four of you and your family watch it, that's one price, one ticket yeah. for four people to watch yeah. instead of one ticket – 15 bucks. For one person to watch yeah. $15, exactly. Yeah. So they're going to lose an incredible amount of money if it goes to VOD. Mm-hmm. But if it doesn't, if it goes to VOD, not only are they going to lose money, they can't fit the budget of these films. 
if you're only making one quarter of what you used to make, mm-hmm. you all of a sudden cannot make the next Avatar or Jurassic Park or any of these like two hundred, three hundred million dollar films. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can't make Avengers. Right. You can't make Avengers yeah. if you're VOD because it won't make enough money. Right. It just won't, unless they find a system where they can completely block it from being, uh, I guess, like stripped from I the mean. internet. And if you really want to do it, you could do it just like they did bootlegs back in the day. You could have a video camera set up in your apartment, framed up to your TV. Except instead of having to find an Asian lady on the subway to buy the DVD, Boom. it's a website that has it right up there. That's it. So it's like, it's it's really it really could change the way that films are made and and drastically reduce budgets. And why why would they not go to movie theaters? I think because of Corona, people aren't going to movie theaters. Oh, and I think know. yeah, and I, I think see. once you get comfortable not going, like once you accept that you could just watch something at home and enjoy it and have your food, whatever you want to have, get your delivery. I mean, like I love watching movies at home. I never used to do it. I love the movie experience. It was like a fun date night because i felt like staying at home watching a movie wasn't uh, as an exciting as an exciting thing to do with my mm-hmm. girl but now that i'm cool just doing that and that's an acceptable date i can't see people going back to movies in the same way is there way like again. a virtual reality movie experience they could give you like even if you're just virtually going to the theater that's and paying less part of the reason why i bought the oculus to recreate that movie theater feel mm. that's and what i was like, thinking when i was thinking not, about vr like like it's dope and you this can not like you can yet. see the person like next to you or whatever, or their avatar of the yeah. person next to you. But it's still it's not that comfortable. You still got this heavy shit sitting on your face. Give it ten to fifteen like, years. She'll be right there. <laughs> yeah. But no, um drive in movie theaters are becoming a lot more popular. I can see that. Yeah. And that's as like a kind of novelty thing. It's yeah. just in New York we can't do that. I also think if you do this, that once or twice, you're gonna be like, I'm good. But you need a car though. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Like it, don't get me wrong, it looks like a fun thing to do, but all these New Yorkers that would go to movies, they don't have a car. It was a cheap, fun thing to do as a kid. Mm. You have 10 bucks. You go to a movie theater. There's like this sense of independence and freedom that you have. Now that shit is done. I, I do not see movie theaters recovering from this. And I'm curious how the fuck we're going to have films. Are they going to charge $50 for the new Avengers see, movie? See, I think, is yeah. Is it going to be the same as like a pay-per-view fight? Because let's be honest, Avengers Endgame, we would have all paid $100 a ticket. Mm-hmm. We would have. I was more excited for Endgame than I was for any recent boxing match yep. or MMA fight. So, if Endgame comes out in six months, would you not go to a theater and see it? It depends. You know what? It might have to be. It I might would. have to be the expensive ticket. Unless What's the movie socialist. theater you like? That's like very like a much better experience. Like oh, you have your own iPad, pod. I pick or something. I pick. Like I pick. There's a movie theater that have the reclining chairs and the fucking. I think that's you're gonna charge way more, and it's gonna be for that. Like this is an upgraded experience. I'm living in luxury. It's like flying first class, but for movies. And then you'll pay thirty dollars, forty dollars, whatever, maybe. But it's like no, nah, but this is like it's like going to a fancy dinner. Mm-hmm. I know I could get this at home, but I'm paying for all of this. Also, how are you gonna be comfortable with a mask on? It is not comfortable. I spent oh, the whole this is day all... wearing a fucking mask because I was flying and I had to like do stopover flights. So the whole day I wore a mask. It's awful. It fucking sucks. It sucks. And I get it. I'm going to do it. But it's just uncomfortable. You're out of breath the whole day. It just sucks. Nah, people are going to take it off in a movie theater. It, and then that's the problem. Yeah. The wrong You're person takes eat? it off. It's a wrap. Yeah. They're going to do the glass shit probably. That's probably what they're going to do. Yeah. Like, they're going to do the glass shit. You buy tickets in groups of twos or fours like comedy shows. They got the glass thing. Because they know they got They make more money on concessions and popcorn than tickets probably. Like, yeah. if you're the movie theater. Yeah. So, they'll figure out some kind of situation where you can eat and drink and whatever. And then I think once Corona is, like, uh, we have the vaccine, then I think it's going to be morphed into, like, a, um, a, this is an experience that's, like, luxurious almost. Big ass yeah. screen. You might have a big TV at home. You don't got a no four hundred inch screen. No, that's true. They just are. They just need to find a way to enter the. Uh, I don't know. Movies were always on the precipice of the future, right? The idea of a movie theater, even like connecting mm-hmm. sound and video, like all you always look for film, and you're like, wow, this is the newest technology. This is the newest graphics. These are the newest like experiences that you could have visually. Right. And now the method in which they deliver it. It may be antiquated. They haven't found a way to monetize the future of what films are. You need to deliver it to our house. Maybe we'll go to the movie theater as well, but you got to find a way to deliver it to us. Yeah. And we have VOD, but we can get around it too quick. I There's think just, virtual reality might be the way at some maybe. point. Why would people be less inclined to go to a movie, but still inclined to go to a restaurant? I That's don't think I people are as inclined to go to a restaurant. I think I, they'll go outside, you know, and, I, and don't get me wrong, I have, but like you're in there. 
in a restaurant, there's some separation between other people. I really think it's going to be the same thing. It's going to be like fine dining, not any restaurant. Fine dining. Yeah. And th- it's women. Women are going to drive it. They like having the experience of going out and doing these things mm-hmm. and getting dressed up or whatever. I think in the same way, that's why I think it'll be more luxurious. It's the experience of like, oh, we're just going out. I'm getting dressed up. We're paying money for tickets. Somebody's bringing us food, whatever. I think right. that's how it has to go because I think women care about this shit more than we do. I also, my suspicion is that most of the country is not as scrupulous about Corona as we are in New York. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, in sure. New York, like those things might suffer, but like Kansas City, like you think they're going to not go to well, I was in Aspen, right? Yeah. Super low cases, like nothing there. Right. Yeah. Right. Mandatory mask mandate outside. That's crazy. You can't walk around town without a mask and people come up and stop you. Security guards, police officers, they go, you have to wear a mask or else you're going to be fine. I think his point is middle America. Aspen might be geographically middle America, but it's like socioeconomically not middle America. Fair. You know what I mean? People with money probably tend to be more liberal, et cetera. Kansas City, like any of these, Florida, the whole state pretty much like that's a different level of even in Pennsylvania, no one was like wearing masks. Yeah. Like we went into restaurants and like you had to wear the mask to the table and then take it yeah, off. Yeah, that's how it is everywhere. You wear the mask to the table and then you can eat it. Yeah. But with the movie theater, you're going to have to keep the mask on. And it's an unpleasant experience. And also with the movie, you don't need to be in the fucking theater. The theater never did anything for me. The theater is just a barrier yeah. of entry for me to see the, the film. The theater is the place where the movie is. Exactly, yeah. right? So now that we've eliminated that barrier of entry, now that I, you can actually give that to me in my home... Why not just give it to me in my home? Because well, they'll make less money. So exactly. They're like, yeah, so you have to find it. a way to monetize home. And maybe what they'll do to make up for it, we start to see a lot more like integrated advertising in films. Mm. You know, it's like oh, stupid. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like whenever, any, watch any James Bond movie and you'll notice like when he's holding the steering wheel. Dude, Aston the sh- Martin. Like, well, yeah. not only Aston Martin, if the shot is over his right shoulder, both of his hands will be on <laughs> this, on the right side of the steering mm. wheel. Like nobody drives like this yeah. at mm-hmm. two yes. and three. Yeah. But they're here so you could see the watch, the That's Omega. Uh, right? So it's like maybe you start seeing a lot more of that and they try to monetize through aver- yeah. advertising. Yeah. But it can't go on like it. I don't see it. Do you really see people packing into movie theaters anymore? No, I, I think they'll just do what restaurants do and comedy clubs and just have those barriers. And, and now those movie theaters are making half the amount of money. That's not enough to profit. A lot will close down. A lot will close down. Yeah. I don't think it goes away. I don't think movies are done. Right. I think they will adapt. Also, the thing about... Of course, of course, they'll adapt. Yeah. I just mean like the way in which we watch them. They have it's to be different. able to deliver it. The yeah. opening night thing that we're like, when you went to go see Avengers and there's no fucking seats available. Oh, and all, so sick. Yeah, it's so great. That's not around for another year or two, probably, at least. Like, we're not comfortable doing that for a while. Yeah, it's just going to have to be at like 50% capacity. They're going to have to have barriers up. And I, I see the movie theaters like I pick are the ones that will be able to That's last what I think, yeah. Because they already serve... Um, overpriced food so it's like you go there for that experience mm. all they have to do is just put a little barrier right next to the pot and they're and already kind of socially distanced because you know yeah, yeah dis- to his point of yeah. overpriced you know you're overpaying going in yeah. but it's about the experience yeah i got yeah. this big ass screen i got this pod it's me and my girl it's romantic we got privacy it's let's go and i think the big there will be a few of those big screen old type movie theaters i'm sure but like as we knew them but i don't i think it's going to be more of the eye pick you're mm. paying for the experience Beyond just big screen, loud sound. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder if this creates a pretty cool um, opportunity for new filmmakers. In the same way that like YouTube created an opportunity for shorter form content shows, Mm. right? Like people watch this show as if it's a TV show. Yeah. Like we've created our own talk show, essentially, right? We'll put it on their TV. And then put it on their TV and they watch it. So- for whatever reason, that never trickled into scripted TV. It trickled, trickled into sketch. Like you see sketch on YouTube, you see sketch on Instagram, that kind of stuff. But like the scripted TV stuff, long form, you haven't really seen it. And film, it never really touched it. And I wonder if the comfort with video on demand, I wonder if we are comfortable watching, what is it, The Prince of Staten Island or The King of Staten Island, yeah. whatever. What is I, it? I rented it. Right? So it's like, I wonder if we get more and more comfortable with renting these things on Apple or Amazon yeah. or whatever different you know streaming service you use. If new filmmakers who are unattached, right, mm-hmm. could create their own pieces and then put them up there with much more, with much less like uh, scrutiny. Yeah. You know, if somebody's like, oh, my film's going straight to, 
you know, uh, uh, Apple TV or whatever where mm-hmm. you can download it, you'd be like, oh, nobody bought your film. Right. But now we're at a place where, at least with stand-up, like, yeah, I put my special on YouTube. It's like, oh, yeah, that's where you go watch stand-up. Yeah. I wonder if that happens to movies now. And then it gives opportunities mm. to some, like, filmmakers who never got a shot in Hollywood, but they're fucking sick and they could kill it. And now that barrier of entry is much less. Yeah. Yeah, I think that- I think mo- that was starting already. Yeah, I it think, was? for yeah. the most part, I'm only paying for movies- at the theater, if they're like movies I would want to see at the theater. Big time, yeah. Big big budget, special effects. Superhero movies are perfect. That's why they were so bankable. Yeah. Because people will pay for this. Give Joker, me Fast and the Furious. Give yeah. me fucking X-Men. Give I me remember it. Joker. I, was, I remember being surprised. Like, yo, Joker made a lot of money at the movie theater, and it doesn't seem like the kind of movie that Yeah, you could have put that shit right to the crib. Yeah. And we would yeah. all watch Joker at the crib. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I'm really curious to see what happens with the, cinema, man. The next few years post Corona is going to be like because th- these these fascinating these you know I mean, we'll move on, but like these companies, what are they called? These like studio, these film houses. I don't know what you studios? refer to them. Studios, film house, whatever yeah. they are. They got to be shitting themselves because they have these movies made. Yeah, like the newest. Who's the guy that made The Dark Knight Rises and all those? Christopher Nolan. Nolan has a new movie called I think Tenet or something like something. that. It's with uh, Denzel Washington's kid, right? And that's probably. $100 million budget, $200 million yeah. budget. He has a finished movie yeah. with nowhere to fucking put it. Mm. Yeah. So they're just sitting on $200 million spent yeah. mm. waiting for a time when they can recoup. That's a lot of money to wait on. Yep. I mean, do you just go VOD? You know how much you'll lose, but you might have to be forced to a situation where you have to recoup. Yeah, you right. can't go to theaters right now. You cannot go theaters. And a Nolan movie needs to be theaters because of the budget that goes into it. Yep. It's a tricky time, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a tricky time. Anyway, let's do one more thing and then we get out of here, okay? Um, by the way, y'all, if you'll want to... Um, Continue listening with us. We're going to drop another episode on our Patreon. We drop it every single Friday. And uh, it just, it just, it was patreon.com slash flagrant too. Um, we just want to let y'all know all the patrons, all the asshole army patrons that are listening right now that um, we're officially the biggest comedy Patreon in the world. Let's go. Okay. The biggest in the fucking world. So thank y'all so much for doing that. Um, and if that isn't enough proof or evidence that the Patreon is absolutely fucking unfiltered and wild and crazy and insane, if that isn't enough proof, I don't know what is. I don't know how else to prove it to the people that haven't joined on yet. Let's go. Anyway, thank y'all so much for making that happen, man. It's unfucking real, man. Biggest in the goddamn world. We've grown so much, you might not know this, but I was homeless when we started. Ah, and now he has a home. Yeah. And now you might be moving again. Might be moving on oh, up. Oh shit! Might be coming yeah. to the city, boy. Might be. Anyway, let's do one more topic, and then we got to get out of here. Um, you want to talk about this uh, Wuhan? I, I was thinking we could talk about Wuhan, but we could also talk about my man Biden. Oh, let's do that. Keep on gaffing, mm. yo. <laughs> Biden you- was talking to Cardi B. No clue why that even happens. Kamala told him probably. No, nah, but like Cardi's been like this, like part of the you know liberal uh, democratic um, machine. Machine, it, it's really interesting, and I wonder if they cut a deal with her. I'm sure because remember she had a charge. Remember nah. Cardi got a charge. She got she was wrapped up in that whole like um, what's the girl Brim that we had on? Oh, Star Brim. She was wrapped up in the whole Star Brim thing, and yeah. I think there was like a racketeering type of case that was attached to it. I don't know. There's a lot of allegedly is out yeah. here, but. That shit just went away. Remember, she also had a charge for like attacking someone in a strip club or something yeah, like that? Yeah, it was like also, some stripper that was talking shit about her sister, I believe, and they got into a little altercation. Yeah. Like all the yeah. stuff about her like drugging guys and like taking their money. Oh, yeah. That's well, allegedly. Up. There was allegedly. some allegedly drugging guys and taking their money. So a lot of this shit popped up, right? And it looked like there was going to be, you know, actual legal recourse, right? They had charged her with crimes. Yeah. These crimes seem to have gone away. And I wonder if the deal is, hey, you've got this massive platform. You have tons of influence. You're going to talk to Bernie Sanders when we ask you to. You're going to talk to Joe Biden when we ask you to. You're going to do whatever it takes to continue to push this agenda forward. This is, again, just conspiracy theory. Right. But it seems reasonable. Yeah. And I bet you this is not the first time the United States you know, government or certain politicians have cut deals with influential figures. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? Like, who's probably the most prominent one? Can you think of any? Times where like the government may have cut a deal with prominent influential figures in Son, order to push she looks their so funny. agendas. Seeing mm. her with this polished ass suit and like trying to make her dyed red hair look like 
Oh, that's a wig for sure. Sophisticated, like yeah, yeah, it's got to be a wig. You right, but like, anyway, long ass nails. Yeah, so she's out there uh, doing her thing, and Joe Biden. I guess they're talking about kids or something like that. Joe Biden says, uh, "You telling me about uh, kids? I've got um, five grandkids. He has seven grandkids. Hmm. I don't have any grandkids. Yeah. Do you forget how many you have?" I feel like after a certain number, you just be, hey, man, that's a lot. It's just a lot. I understand forgetting names. I do understand that. Yeah. But how many you got? And it's not like you got 14 and you say you got 13. That's true. That's true. Five, seven. I mean, you ain't going to claim the ones that you don't like. Uh -huh. Probably don't like all of them. That's true. One, his kid had one with some uh, hoe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, like he had, he had like a little side baby. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and so then, yeah, I count him. so maybe, one. okay, now we're down to six, but then it's six legits. One of them probably an asshole, you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, it is. We not, Look, I'm not trying to just bash Biden, even though we absolutely should, because this motherfucker clearly has dementia and we're about to potentially elect him as president of the United States of fucking America. I mean, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. That's an absolutely crazy thing. Yeah. Like other countries have to be going, what the fuck is going on over there? Right? I mean, I mean they, I'm they sure they've been, been saying that. Yeah. <laughs> they've been saying that. Yeah. Like when we elected Trump, they're like, what the hell's happening? And now yeah. we they're gonna we're gonna elect a dead guy. Yeah. <laughs> this weekend at, at Biden's. Yeah. So it's like, I don't fucking know. I it's it almost seems like we're like laughing these things off. We're like, oh, here's another gaffe. It's like, why this is not funny. This guy got the, the nuclear code. Yeah, codes. but I'm not as worried because there's a competent person behind him. You when has a VP you, done anything? In this case, you can do everything. Yeah. No, no, no. VPs don't do shit. No, traditionally, I agree with you. I think in this case, they were like, look, he can get us the moderate white vote who's a little racist but doesn't oh, want to admit it. Vote. I'm talking about doing the job. So once he gets elected, we get a VP that's competent, and you can think what you want about Kamala's politics and who she is as a person, whatever. There's no denying she is competent enough to do the job. Yeah. Whether or not you're going to like what she does, who knows? Yeah. But. Get him, he'll get the votes, he'll get elected, she's going to run the show behind the scenes. In the same way, I think George W. Bush didn't really run the show behind the scenes. It was Rumsfeld and whoever the fuck, and Cheney and all these people he had behind. A, a lot of people say Cheney's the one that took us to Iraq and all that shit. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, That's what Kamala's going to be, but hopefully, you know, for good. And real talk, Obama's still pulling all the strings there. Like right now, all the people Biden has around him is former Obama cabinet people. So it's like, it's just going to be another Obama third. Y'all are really justifying that we're going to put a man with dementia in office. <laughs> like, this is crazy to me. So like, y'all are, are justifying it right so now. Like, put a fucking celebrity guy in the office. Like, the guy he, has his brain. Yeah, I would rather somebody with their no, brain no than someone without their brain. It's but not ideal. No experience in politics whatsoever. Who cares if you're brain dead? You also have no experience in politics. You've forgotten <laughs> all of your experience in politics. Nah, but what if you do have competent people around you that can just make you do whatever? Boom. That's everybody. He's the Manchurian candidate, but retarded. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. Like if instead of being under know. brain control, there was no brain to control... That's Joe Biden. Yeah, <laughs> right. Canada. No, I just can't. I can't support it. But I think I some people are looking it. at this like, okay, we can either get a bad person in office or a like, senile, person, a senile person with good people around them. But how do we know those people are good? Because they're like Obama's cabinet or whatever. Like, I think that's the way some people are assessing it. That's who, how. Who is in Obama's cabinet that's helping? I mean, the, none of us know. Let's be honest. None yeah, of us the know. The country wasn't in the shape it is right now when Obama was. I, I think the country is in this shape because of Corona. You're I talking trust Kamala to do this. Also, Kamala has already been with a senile guy in his 60s, made that relationship work. <laughs> she could do this again. That's she profited off that. America going to profit off That's this. a good point, bro. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. And we, we a, are really voting for Kamala. We need a hope, Because we bro. know I, it doesn't look like Biden's <laughs> going to last that long. So it's like. No. Bro, yeah. CNN um, put out this tweet. It said. Joe Biden made the pick that maximized his chances of continuing to make the race a straight referendum on Trump while also selecting someone whose resume suggests being ready to step in if and when Biden decides to step aside. When in the history of American politics have they ever suggested that a potential incoming president was going to step aside? I don't. If and when? I don't. <laughs> 
What well, do no. they know that we don't know? He's dying. <laughs> we all know this. We all see this. He's dying. His brain is dead. It is weekend at Bernie's, but it's a joke. It's weekend at Biden's. I'm telling you, this is a dead person. But it's unprecedented. We're also in unprecedented times, I think. I took that as he only plans to be a one-term president. So he's I like, took I'm that gonna- as he's going to die in nine months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the guy's dead. And I, and I have looked at everything, and, and I'm like... If I vote, <laughs> I'm a vote Biden and Kamala. Yeah. That's yeah. that's what that is. Fuck, man. I got you, bro. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> listen. Go, yeah. Good luck, man. I, I would rather, honestly, I would rather just say, hey, you know what? Kamala is the one. She's going to run and then give us your platform so we at least know what we're voting for. Yeah, no, the problem is a lot of people aren't comfortable voting for that. They were comfortable with Biden. It's about the white moderate vote. You always say that. Why the fuck are they comfortable with a guy who's dead? They're not smart people. <laughs> no, nah, you gotta vote. Most for- people shouldn't be allowed to vote. This isn't racist. <laughs> oh I really believe God. this. No, nah, you can keep this. I think about twenty <laughs> percent of of human beings should be allowed to vote. Yeah, that's a powerful thing. A vote. We shouldn't just trust every idiot I mean, over eighteen. Someone said that Socrates said that, or Plato said it, said that. I'd be saying democracy. ill shit without realizing it sometimes. <laughs> anyway, Socrates look, philosophies, hypotheses. Yeah. All right, guys, listen, thank you guys so much for uh, listening to this episode of Flagrant 2. That's been us. Uh, it for us, patreon.com slash flagrant2 if you want to come kick it with us on Friday, man. See y'all Friday. Um, we will see y'all over there. We appreciate y'all. Best dressed comedian in the game, hands down. Well, thank Everybody you. Knows right. it. that, man. I appreciate uh, that. Yeah, thank right. you, Doug. Right. Right. Man, love thank y'all. You. Love y'all that. for confirming that, and thank you guys all for participating and losing. So we love y'all. Have a great night. God bless. Peace.